Here we go. Stream two. Two days in a row. I went six hours yesterday. I don't think I'll go quite as long today, but I won't have two hours of tutorial to start the stream with, so uh, that'll be nice. I've not played since yesterday's stream, so I am in exactly the same spot we left off. My uh, big old wiglet just slapped a car to death. And it was a, a higher level than we were, we were expected to be able to do. That was apparently the second of the five Team Star, like, bosses in terms of level. And they're also, like, the hardest of the sets of challenges, is the Team Star bases. I did look up a list of the, uh, of just all the points of interest by level, just because I was curious. Uh, the Bug Gym is the lowest. Just barely lower than the Grass one. So I guess I should probably go, go check that out, the Bug Place. They're very close. Bug Gym is like level 15, Grass is level 16 or 17. Also, what's this? Is this the... is this Outbreaks? I'm assuming that's what that little question mark is, but I don't know. Get out of here. Cyclazar. Jack also now has a Violet. He bought it after the stream yesterday, so, uh... Depending on how his day goes, he may or may not be joining us. Not on voice, but just like in the game later today. I kind of just, I, I don't really like raid battles. It's probably a feature I'm not going to be bothering with much. Where am I going? Oh, did I, I passed it. I already got done sparse. I caught one. I did not look into what its uh, its evolution condition is. I have been told that done sparse has a new evolution, or it has a evolution, which is great. Long overdue. Also, I, I'm sorry. This is a student. This truly is like an all-ages academy. I think Wiglet is a special attack. And it doesn't matter because it can't take a hit. Oh, I should have healed. I shouldn't have started this fight. Whoops. What's the penalty for uh, for losing in this game? It used to be like half your money. Those are the old days. Uh, what what do I have that can work against fairy? I guess, I guess whooper. What well, psychic is gonna be good against whooper though? currently snowing outside, so there is a very non-zero chance that uh, it'll be a, a snow day for school tomorrow. So I may, 
I might do this th three days in a row. Alright, don't knock out. Okay. Yeah, I saved right after the, uh, right after the fire base. Oh, he's got more? Okay. Fine. Zangoose is immune to poison, so, uh... Poison will not work, but... Give me a chance to heal my fire gear at least. The poison status effect. I know poison moves will work on that, but that would be an ability if immune just made you completely immune to uh, just the poison type at all. We functionally the same as the steel type, I guess, but there are abilities like that. Just levitate kind of emulates the uh, the flying type. I do want to, uh, I want to look at, like, outbreaks, because I heard that was a daily thing. And if it's only once a day, then I might as well check them out. I don't want to miss them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die to this Zangoose, aren't I? This is not a fight I should have picked. I have the rock, but that's not, that's like my lowest level Pokemon. That's not gonna do anything. You know what? Wiglet. Wiglet can save this. Doom Slayer is in Fortnite. I saw that. It's a shame that all these crossover events don't happen all at once, so you can't have like uh, Doom Slayer standing next to Naruto and Goku. All right, old reliable. Give him the Aqua Jet. Oh, he's got more Pokemon, doesn't he? I really should have not picked this fight. Yeah, it's a Noibat. Despite appearances, that's a dragon. Uh. The rock would be good, but it's just, it's so low level. I'm, I'm gonna go back to my, uh, my gator, because he has a fairy move. Uh, I forgot to heal immediately after I started sauce, so I, I, I picked a fight with some dude who was a higher level than me. After most of my team was wiped by that fucking car from last time. Still in, oh, that was a critical hit. Noibat has, like, no attack. It's all special attack. I remember that, because I think I used it in uh, my, like, Sun Moon first playthrough or something. I liked, I liked that it was an early game accessible dragon type. Alright. Uh, Pokemon Center. Is that Sydney? Like a weird, almost opera house. Uh... Psyducks. Uh, Sauce. Do you know what... Is, is this question mark an outbreak? Is that what that is? And if so, can I not get it? I found a wild... A mass outbreak of wild choodle. All I have is is red. All 
Okay, so yes, this is a Choodle outbreak. Uh, Pokemon Center. Why, why am I sneaking? I will heal, and I will catch a Choodle. Even though I don't particularly like Choodle, I will catch it because it's an outbreak. Hello, Elf King. Good job on fajitas. Those aren't... I guess they're not that hard to make, but... I'm too lazy to make them. How many badges you got? Uh, we have done one of each type of challenge. We got the grass badge. We got the... Uh, the Cliff Titan, and we got the Fire Star Base. I'm on my way to the Bug Gym, since technically that was the first. Once I catch one of these, uh, one of these Choodles. I know Jack was talking about Peter Parker, Spider-Man, when uh, he suggested this name. I, I can't see the name Peter and not think of Peter Griffin. It's just, it's too ingrained now. Grass is the lowest level, you're correct. I looked up a list of all the uh, points of interest. Let me look that up again, just, I, I keep bringing it up. Team Star Leaders. Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet, Gym Order and Badge. Progression something or other. It's a Polygon article. Oh wow, that did nothing. Oh, because I miss. Uh, the Bug Gym is uh, lowest level, then the Stony Cliff Titan, then the Grass Gym, then the Flying Titan, and then Team Star's first, the weakest, the Dark Crew. So of the three challenges, Team Star is like the strongest on average. Electric Gym. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not looking forward to the to the, the this like the VTuber gym. Maybe that's a good reason to get it out of out of the way though. I went after Mela first like a dum dum. I well not first, but I went after her third, which is still like too early to have gone after her. That was not a fight worth having. It's nice that you move faster while on Coridon. The bigger hitbox makes it way easier to accidentally start a Pokemon battle, though. Are they gone? Because I, like, went to heal? They don't despawn, do they? Is that one? Hey, are you a Choodle? I gotta aim well. I'm not aiming well. I need, like, a first-person throw. Uh-oh! You can lock on with ZL. I'm 
Not from this distance, I can't. Can I just, can I like first person maybe? There we go. I just, it'll swim in the water. Kilo is fine, he's got this. Everything in the river is now dead. What does dig look like if I use it in the water like this? Didn't even know Pommy could swim. Most non-water Pokemon get floaties. What's this going to look like? Okay. The water eel gets a floaty, but it is not in the floaty. It's just... It's just she's just down there. She's fine. She's happy underwater. Hello. I was wondering where she went. I was also curious how Diglett would work. I don't know if, uh, like, Diglett is in this game. Why is there a floaty if it's just gonna be underwater? Alright, rock polish for Saltmon. Rock throw and smackdown. That seems redundant. Maybe it comes up from inside the floaty when attacking. Maybe. That raises that raises several more questions, though. This large tooth front tooth is still growing in. When the tooth itches, this Pokemon will bite another Choodle's horn, and the two Pokemon will tussle. It's it's it still just looks like Rudy to Booty. Hey, this is new. I found another uh, USB extender, so I don't have to, like, reach to the ground to use my keyboard now. I haven't decided if I want to keep using... I, I don't think I want to keep using this whooper. This whooper's pretty bad. Maybe other whoopers. Not this one. What time is it? It is 1.26 p.m. So I'm guessing day and night is not respective to uh, real time. get a lovely prize for five trainers, but I am not going to spend time with that right now because I am... I'd rather just head to the bug gym. Qualit. And the bug gym is... probably close to Mega Place. Is it this way? The Sugar Bug. Okay. Let's go challenge Sugarbug. Is there a land? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the map for, like, the first time. So this must be a sheer cliff wall. I was looking at the land bridge to see if there was a way to get from uh, this area, which I guess we just don't vi revisit that much since it's just the starting game tutorial area. Alright, 
right, so I'm going out the west gate. Boy, I kind of wish the map just started in the regular orientation every time. It's kind of hard to maintain my bearings. And I back out and I, it suddenly rotates like that. Do you know how to take classes? Uh, I never went to no school smart place. I don't know nothing about no classes. There's that nice pop-in. Oh, what was that? I want to see that kid again. Look, look at him flickering in and out of existence. He's magical. I want. I want to. I want to learn about you, magic child. I have heard that. Uh, I took one class. Assuming that they're all like that. It was like a little tutorial scene. And I have been made aware of something called midterms. Or something. Or final quizzes. I know there's some kind of reward for doing classes. But uh, I don't really want to go through them on stream. It just seems like it would, be, it would be a lot of time for not a lot of payoff. Unless I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. I, I would just as well do those off stream. Okay. I'll go west. I did, I, I tried to look up some of my team members whether they would, like, if they had level evolutions or whatnot. And I did get spoiled on Wiglet's evolution. Not that it's anything particularly surprising. I unlock opportunities to build relationships with the teachers. I don't even know any of them besides Rick Sanchez, and he's just, he's okay, I guess. There are Fletchenders in the rain. Hop it. A lot of stuff I've seen before. The nurse has her own thing that doesn't require attending a class. Oh, okay. Can I, can I go visit the nurse? This is the first gen we've had, like, a variety of player models. Or a variety of models for the NPC battlers. I wonder if there's, like, a set number of them, or if they're randomly generated within some parameters. I guess it's just the student class, right? Well, maybe I'll go back and visit the visit the nurse later. I can always fly back to uh, to, to school town. I defeated Nintendo of America. That's right, you'd be ashamed. Oh, hey. Peter Parker is evolving into Miles Morales. What is it? Oh, uh, I don't know if I like that. Spide Ops? Uh, Spider Ops. Metal Gear. It's a trap Pokemon. It clings to branches and ceiling using its thread and moves around, moves without a sound. It takes out its prey before the prey even notices it. I, I, I can't. It's it's too Metal Gear. I'm, I'm hearing the music. I'm I'm hearing the sound. Okay. Uh, well that's thirteen to fourteen, so it doesn't have another evolution.
protecting itself from damage while lowering the speed stat. Okay, it's one of those, like, protect with a bonus moves. I didn't even know about fast travel until, like, ten hours into my playthrough. Gotta, gotta read the prompts. Okay, to be fair, I have not read every single prompt, but I've, I've tried to pay attention for when one is describing, like, a new feature. Alright, well, now that Bug is fully evolved, I can swap out. What else do I want to evolve? Pig evolves one more time, I think. Let's swap out, let's get the other Bug in here. He's the same level anyway. Great, I've played Violet only changing moves based on the Pokemon's opinions. They created awful movesets, but valuable friendships. found out between streams, not only is Cyclozar good, but uh, he's apparently already banned to Ubers in the competitive scene. Which, I forgot, that was the Pokemon that had the, the Shed Tail move revealed in, like, trailers. The one where it cuts its health in half and uh, places down a substitute statue. It also has the ability to uh, regenerate, and is super fast, so it, it's just everything it has is super complementary to everything else. That sounds like a funny uh, variation of a Nuzlocke run. I guess that would be. That, that could be a new type of run. Let your poke all your Pokémon choose their own moves. How would you even do a Nuzlocke in these generations? I guess each, uh, because they don't have routes, really. Each area would consist of, like, Area 1, Area 2. Which, those are pretty big. You would not have a lot of Pokemon to choose from in a Scarlet Violet Nuzlocke. I think there was a path on this road that I've just completely ignored. I'm just following this wall. Oh, hello. Hmm. I'm not gonna mess with you. Yet. There's a cricket dot. Oh, there are diglets. Alright. Level 9. Yeah, we went the wrong way first. These guys are way lower level. Oh, come on. Don't do that. And also, it's also like... How do you judge a Nuzlocke in this game? Because, like, the first Pokémon you see, right? In older games, it was obvious, because it would be your first random encounter. In this game, I, I, would you have to, like, measure frame by frame what's the first Pokemon to appear on the screen? It seems like it would be hard. I like Krikatot. I'm not going to use it, but it's a, it's a neat little Pokemon. I know a guy who completed the Pokedex without getting a single badge. I get it. Now I want to send a Diglett out over the water. 
Oh, come on. My, my stupid little electric bear is too good at digging. I think it's a physical attacker. What are these? Oh, these are the olives. Alright, I'll catch an olive. Olive, the other reindeer. Uh, I assume that Nimble is a level evolution. Like, it it'll evolve if I just keep it in the party, right? Olive oil. Ow, Popeye. It protects itself from enemies by emitting oil from the fruit on its head. This oil is bitter and astringent enough to make someone flinch. Okay, it's grass normal, not not pure grass. We're getting a lot of those in this gen, is mixed normal types. It's a very normal place, Paldia. I'd, I'd like I'd like Unagi. I want to keep Unagi. I would like to be rid of Whooper, but I think I feel like it's close to evolving. I think it's like level twenty. I'll add I'll add Antipasto later. A grass type would be nice, but I'm do, I'm going to a bug gym, so I don't need it right away. Squavit. There's Mareep. Does he get experience for uh, auto battles? Or is it just like, uh, is it just items? Alright. So I guess it, it's probably a good idea to have him out and uh, fighting things. Depending on what's in the area, it doesn't have like a type disadvantage or anything. If static electricity builds in its body, its fleece doubles in volume. Until it evolves into an Ampharos, and it gets so charged that it can't have wool anymore, and it goes bald. What a sad life an Ampharos leads. There's an item over there, but I think I'm going backwards. What other potential candidates were there for uh, open world music TM? Because it's settled on piano. It's I, I admit it's kind of hard to imagine like running around in these in these wilderness with uh, I don't know EDM playing or a rock guitar, acoustic guitar. 
That would work. What is that? That's an iggly buff. What is that? It's a jigglypuff. Who's that Pokemon? Trumpet would get overbearing. No, Trumpet's great. All brass soundtrack. Take me back to Hoenn. Prize for defeating five trainers. Well, this is the bug town. There's already a bug. That's I think that's a female Heracross. You can tell because of the heart horn. It's a nimble, I believe. There's a truck with a mew under it. Come on. Uh, uh, okay, that works too. Hey, Jack. Or maybe it doesn't work. Uh, how far are you into the game, Jack? You get to the school yet? Vaya! I, I don't know what any of these, these mannerisms mean. I'm American, I don't know nothing about no Europe. We ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time, again! It's crazy how we both went to the second gym first, and the first one second. What a weird coincidence. No, seriously, look, to prove it, I wouldn't even challenge you to a battle this time. Much as I'd like to. Look at you and your Pokemon, they've definitely gotten strong. I'm, I, I'm so tired of the rival dialogue, it's the same in every game. Yep, go train. I'll go train like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. At least she's got her own kind of character, a little bit. Like, she's she's a little arrogant, she's a little cocky, but, like, she's earned it. She's not rude, like Bede was. Gym leader Katie. This is also, like, the generation with the most normal gym leader names. We've got Katie, Larry. All right, we have to roll an olive. All right, we have to go somewhere north of town. Brassius is pretty out there. Yeah, that's not, well, he's an artiste. Just goes on and on. Look at all them bricks. I'm glad they're like icons on the map. That way I don't have to read at anything. Como estas? This town has too many walls. Oh. 
Oh, okay. He, he can swim in shallow water. He likes to go for a dip in the pool. Just, uh, just not, like, the ocean. What's, uh, what's this cool move? Alright, here we go. Olive oil. Welcome to the olive rolling field. We need to push a large olive ball rolling. I guess, I guess gyms are just smaller in the Paldia region. They have all the gym tests outside, in like some field. A few meters away. What is this, we, we doing mazes? Or are we doing Rock of Ages? Are we just gonna roll a weird-shaped ball? That's a game I kind of miss, Rock of Ages. The third one came out. We didn't stream it. I did play it. It was very... It was pretty buggy, but uh, I still enjoyed it. Are the sound effects here necessary? I feel as though perhaps those are trainers waiting in waiting to challenge me. And I probably should challenge them, but you know what? What was what what happened? Why did it go that way? I'm probably avoiding trainers more than I should. But uh, I'm, I'm overleveled for this particular part of the game anyway, so I'll be fine. I wonder if this gym leader has an evolved olive. What could it evolve into? It could, could evolve into a tree? A branch? Like an olive branch? That'd be weird, a branch Pokemon? It's probably just gonna be a bigger olive. That's going to be my guess. A bunch of Jigglypuffs and the uh, Bagel Dog. Which that I also haven't evolved. I don't know what that evolves into. It's also, I think it's also more a donut than a bagel. I, j I just called mine a bagel. Uh, Jack. Peter evolved. The string bug evolves into solid snake, as it turns out. Figure that out. I was on a roll out there. Awkward laugh. Alright, let's let's fight Katie, the sugar bug. Is that a thing? That's not a real thing, right? A sugar bug? Just gotta load the building. All the bugs are Metal Gear characters, I guess. Uh, okay. I, I don't know what the, the grasshopper evolves into yet. Does it evolve into a, a cyborg ninja? Because that'd be pretty cool, actually. She looks like a baker. Hopefully she doesn't bake with bugs. I'll bet some people do that. Hope she's not one of them. 
the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. That's, this is like a bakery, isn't it? A patisserie? Probably butchering that pronunciation. Yep, it's, she's, she's a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug Pokemon, bug type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Why did I think she would use the olive? The olive's grass type, not bug type. I wonder how she gets her hair like that. Well, as far as the first two gyms go, Fire seems like the obvious winner in this gen. As opposed to Gen 1, where well, you were just, you were screwed if you started with the Fire type. It's okay, she'll be a pushover. I can use this opportunity to train my Pokemon. Dies. special attack from that. I'm quite a few levels ahead, and yet there's still... I still feel too weak to Roundtula. I feel like I've encountered that, but I don't... That's the... That's the... 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 String ball. Okay, that's pure bug type. I don't think poison is super against bug. Is it? Why do I... Why would I think that? Was there some weird interaction in Gen 1 related to that? It was in Gen 1, okay? That's why. I'm, I'm just kind of cheating. I'm taking the easy way out. I'm gonna burn the bugs. Uh, Jack mentioned that he is picking Sprigatito. Teddy Ursa? Okay, but it's a bug type Teddy Ursa. She's gonna terraform it. Terra, sterilize, sterilize. If she was smart, she wouldn't. She would keep it, like, non terra sterilized so it would, like, not be bug form, and I would not be super effective. But obviously she's going to. Like, there's no way she's not going to do the gimmick. Which added a free Lechonk emote. Oh, neat. That's an interesting gimmick, I guess. Being able to change types. Did fuck all good for her, but... We didn't even get to hear the music. Uh, Elf, you've beaten the main storyline. You find any interesting ways to use the terrestrializing mechanic? Oh, hey, we're getting the uh, Kilua's evolving into a Lumi. I hope not. It's it just got taller. It's exactly the same fucking Pokemon, but taller. Come on! Pomo. When its group is attacked, Pomo is the first to leap into battle, defeating enemies with a fighting technique that utilizes electric shocks. We have a fighting electric type. And it I hope it evolves one more time, because that looks stupid. Uh, I like Dig. I don't necessarily need Quick Attack. 
Thunder Thund Thundershock isn't great, but it is uh, it is tight. It is stab. <sighs> I'll keep quick attack. It's more useful than a special attack on a physical attacker. I hate how you have to evolve Pomo. Oh, okay. That well, that's telling. I'm glad you told me that. Is it one of the ones... I know there's some Pokemon that you have to do, like, a certain number of steps to evolve, right? Is that how that works? Alright, give me, give me the gym badge. Speaking of baked goods... Apparently, uh, Subway now has foot-long cookies... Extremely decadent foot-long cookies. Yeah, look, look, look this up. They, they are, like, ornate as shit. I kind of want to try one, even though it will just, it will, like, destroy my blood sugar. Alright, I got Pounce. Lowers the target speed stat. Now, do I want to... Electric fighting seems like a potentially useful combination. Do I want to keep it out and, like, try to do the steps, though? I might. Uh, yes, I am she. Who are you? Nimona! Had mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy. Oh, but I do apologize. I... <laughs> Is this one of the teachers? Is he wondering where the hell I've been because I have attended zero classes since I started attending this school? My name is Hassel. One of the elite four. Oh, I see. Also teach art classes at the academy. What compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? Oh, I don't know. I have no motivation. I want to find my treasure. What, why is it in quotation marks? That, sa that makes it sound weird. Asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great crater of Paldia, as they say. Your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all Paldian history. Why... Why, why does every path lead to the crater? Yeah, one, one day we will battle you, blonde Snape. Don't, don't kill anyone in the meantime. Especially not uh, Principal Dumbledore, I like him. Oh, uh, what, my name's Clive. Hello, fellow kids. Stand on top of a poke. What do you mean, stand on top of a Pokemon Center? Uh, do I gotta, like, Coridon jump up there? A specific one. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna do that now because that would still be, uh, that would take up stream time. If I just, like, kept it out all the time, I do it doesn't seem like a thousand would be too- would be, like, that much to evolve it. Uh, what, what was that TM I got? How good is that? Probably not very because it's the first gym, but uh, I'll take a look. Trailblaze is 50. Pounce is 50. And only the bug can learn it, so uh, I don't necessarily need that. Alright, well, where's next? There's the grass gym. Uh, 
Anything else of interest nearby? All those are like raids or something. There's a Pokemon Center? I might as well go out there. Anywhere I go that unlocks flight locations is nice. Since we brought it up here, let's see if we let's see if we can go visit the nurse. Let's take some time to meet school staff. Then I'll just I'll fly back over there. It's that kid! It's that man! I gotta rewatch Excel Saga, see if it still holds up. I remember enjoying it lots. So, they just have these computers that you can use to warp around all over the school. Much like the students like to warp around in and out of their desks. But you can't just, like, walk to locations? Or can you walk to locations in addition to the warping? Yeah, I don't know where any of the locations are, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, nurse is on. Let's go visit the nurse. In fact, there's a few, like, exclamation points for things that I guess we can do. So what's the theme of the school in Violet version? Can, in this one, it's oranges. I'm gonna guess in Violet, it's grapes? Oh, that's right. Giraffarig is in this game and has a new evolution. Yeah. Hello, nurse! Miriam. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. I don't see anything super wrong with you or your Pokemon. This is your first time here, isn't it? No. No. I know I haven't seen you before. You can't fool me that easily. Yep. I, I am she. I've heard rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrolling. What was that? What, did she just, like, phased out of existence for a, a, the briefest of frames? I'm kind of bored just sitting in here all day, you know? I don't have any classes to teach, and students only come here to skip class. She knows. She knows what's going on. So, yeah, drop by if you can. Deal? Deal. She talks like someone from the 2000s. Which, I don't know how old you gotta be to be a school nurse in 2022. You became slightly closer with Nurse Miriam. Oh, oh, you don't say. Everything is purple. Yeah, but it, I, is there like a theme to the school? Because our, ours, mine has a giant orange in the middle of the logo. A uh, biology lab. A quick chat with Rick. Is, you here all by yourself? Is that like a little Paldia? Hello, hello. Have you gotten used to things here at the academy? Yeah, sure. I, I, I've spent a total of like five minutes here. Yes, I have been using the Pokedex. I'm the one who made it! Every time someone using the app catches a Pokemon, that data gets sent to me with consent, right? There's like a consent screen for that? Stealing people's data is really helping with my Pokemon research! Be sure to catch any new Pokemon you find and work on filling in your Pokedex. First goal, let's say aim for 30. Register 30 Pokemon. 
Uh, have I, have I done that? Wow, you've already registered 30 Pokemon! Are we still doing this in 2022? Like, you can't modify the initial dialogue with that. You gotta act like I came back and started a new conversation with him. All this data, this is the best! I'm fighting some bicycle cops. Bicycle? It's Team Star? I don't remember any bicycle cops. Uh, false- okay, false swipe, that's good to have. Can my bear learn that? Okay, now we're gonna aim for a hundred species. I wonder if there's a better... There's probably a better catching Pokemon than the bear. I'll, I'll stick with the bear for now, but... Uh, no, he can't learn it. Man! I think in Japan, the name of False Swipe is like Strike with the Back of the Sword or something like that. Which is why it's only learnable generally by Pokemon with some kind of like blade on their body. That's usually the trend of who can learn False Swipe. Hey, Clive. Hello. How's the treasure hunt coming? All sorts of adventures. It, it's great. Yeah. Treasure hunt has no set course or criteria you must follow. I don't know how we're still in business as a school, to be honest. Go where your heart takes you and you shall do splendidly. This is, this is like, this guy's an awful... Like, staff member. This is like Dumbledore telling Harry to go to the Chamber of Secrets. What could go wrong? You'll have fun down there! Uh, okay. You want my expertise on Pokemon. I, of course, am a born master of Pokemon. I recently heard a word whose meaning escapes me. I believe some sort of... I believe it to be some sort of slang... Oh. Is, is this a word that I can put on stream? What does Chugi mean? <sighs> this, is, this is really in a Pokemon game, this line. It's a gumball, Clive. Sorry, Clavel. I shall have to try one of these Chugis for myself sometime. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I feel like I'm the er only person who didn't know that one. <sighs> I, I feel like it's just barely below your age range. It's something that, like, teenagers are saying now. For those of you who don't know, it, it's like, uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a derogatory for people older than yourself. It's for, like, teenagers to refer to 20-somethings as, like, you know, lame, try, trying too hard to be young and hip and cool. I don't actually know how I became aware of it, but, uh, Boomer already... Yeah, no, Boomer is the word that Chugis use to refer to old people older than themselves, you see. There's a, there's a chain here. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm very tough. I'm strong. The strongest trainer. That is because of all the crazy experiences you're having on the treasure hunt. All those experiences you didn't have when we first met two minutes ago. That's actually kind of shocking that a Pokemon game was more hip than the, like, 20-somethings playing it. 
That doesn't happen often. Usually, the, usually Nintendo games are like 10 years behind the times. We, uh, did we ever get the word boomer in a Pokemon game? That's something I would almost expect to start seeing. Not not Chugi though. Chugi? Okay, I gotta look this up. How do you pro how do you pronounce Chugi? Modification.com presents how to has the stress on the first syllable chu with the u vowel. The second syllable sounds like p. Chugi. Okay, Chugi, thank you. Now I know. The word cringe is used a few a few times. That that's more widespread. I, I believe that. I'm a good listener. I'm sorry, what what were you saying? Ah, eh, whatever, it's not important. I became even closer with Nurse Miriam. All right, good talk. Entrance hall, there we go. Nimona says oof. That's kind of modern, but that's also something that I could buy just kind of being happenstance. When did Nob stop with the localizations? I don't remember. I think Gen 5 maybe was the last one that he did? Or that he was involved with. Nob was the, like, single translator for the first couple generations, I think. And then over time, he got- he became the head of, like, the translation team. Then he just supervised, and now I think he is- he's just hands-off, he's not doing it anymore. There was a Did You Know Gaming in the past year or two where they actually hired Nob, the official, you know, Pokemon translator of yore, to translate a Pokedex from, bef I, I guess, the Gen 1 games. But, like, in Japan, the Gen 1 games. Very early stuff with lore that otherwise never made it to the West. Those were uh, very interesting videos, and I recommend them. All right, Pomo, be free. Already picking fights. What did he just run around? All right. Yeah, Jack. Hasta la vista. Oh, that's right. I can't run too fast. I forgot. So where am I going? I should probably like set a destination or something. Uh, I would like to go here. I would like to unlock more Pokemon Centers. I guess we're walking. Does it, like, talk? Hello? That is the most fake-ass Pokemon evolution I have ever seen in this franchise. I, I would rather have three Magnemites stuck together to form an evolution than this stupid thing. That oh, was Ghastly's. There's a Rockruff. There's a Mankey. Some, uh, like, sweet classic rock going on in the background. Nuzzle, honestly, because it's a physical tackle, 
physical attacker. Nuzzle and uh, Thundershock were probably pretty similar in damage anyway. Eh, maybe it's not worth evolving the bear on stream. I kind of figured that I would be running around anyway, but uh, if I have to go that slowly, yeah, maybe not. I do like having it in the party, though, because just having a catching Pokemon, an electric fighting type, too, is, uh, seems neat. But, uh, I have other things to evolve, so I could swap it out. Let's get the olive in here. I want to work on the olive, and, uh, the... Eventually, we need to evolve the bagel. The beagle. The donut. Do I really want antipasto at the head of the party at level 8? Probably not. I'm going to keep my Wiglet out. I want it running around with me. There's a Ghastly just uh, haunting this battle. What is its Terra type? It's water. I'm going to keep my Wiglet out. Yep, just walking around Palia. They knew what they were doing when they made this Pokemon. I kind of like Ghastly, but, uh, again, can't fully evolve it because it requires trading. So, uh, what is that? That's not the olive. Is that a new thing? That's a new thing. It's a Kappa! It's a flower, flower Kappa. Capsicid. Okay. Well, I don't know what it is. It looks vaguely plant-like. Uh, do I want to slam it? That might kill it. Another another water pulse. Okay, it gets... What, what does Rattle get scared by? It gets scared by bugs and dark types, and I think one other thing, but I don't remember what the third thing is. Bug, Dark, and Ghost, that's it. Finally get a Kappa Pokemon, and the Evo is so ugly. Uh, is it a physical, or it's a special attacker? So, Razor Leaf isn't great. However, Sweet Scent also is not great. It's a spicy pepper Pokemon. Wait, why did it activate Rattled? The more sunlight this Pokemon bathes in, the more spicy chemicals are produced by its body, and thus the spicier its moves become. Oh, like Capsaicin. That's why it's called Capsicid. I am 
prime fajita, the spiciest in the universe. Why did it activate rattled? Was it be wait, hold on. Did did Wiglet get rattled because a ghastly passed by in the background? No, that's not that can't be that how that works. Oh, okay, bite bite is a dark move. Darn. I like my theory better. I wish that happened. I wish it in a completely different battle it would see a spooky ghost in the background and get jumpy. Well, I'll keep the olive for now. Uh, I will keep Capsicid in mind in the future. Just digging. It makes less sense because this is a water type eel that it just digs through the ground everywhere. There's the donkey whose name I forget. Lots of rock and ground types around here. A good variety of mons. Marker on the map, right? Yeah, I do. Are there at least like, uh, do different mons have different speeds at least? Like, surely there are some that should be able to keep up with you running around. Animation, what an what animation? What did I miss? Oh, whoops. Wiglet is too strong. Are there more char cadets? Was that rare? Oh, those Drifloons. There's so many things that I really shouldn't invest too much time catching. Because again, I don't want to eat up that much stream time. I would I would have liked to get that Char Cadet. I really didn't think Wigglet would hurt it that much. Pokemon have varying sizes now, it looks like. I haven't seen that. Can anyone confirm that? Those pillars of light. All right, shop it. I didn't catch one, but I saw some of those earlier in the playthrough. I think Mudbray is the donkey. Yeah, and it evolves into something Dale. Mudsdale. That's a pun on Clydesdale, which is a type of horse. What else have I got? Uh... I guess there's a lot of, like, uh... There's a lot of, like, rock mons about. I could maybe get some training for the olive in. Smoliv. Yo, can't item! Man! I, I pressed the crouch button instead of the pick up button.
I'm glad to see them, like, uh, experimenting with new type combinations. Like, there were a lot of normal crossovers missing, which is probably why we're getting a lot of them now. Alright, sunny day. I don't really want to fight Mankeys or Ghastlies with my Olive, my Smolive. Hey. Where are, where are you? Go, fight the, fight the, the elephant. You can take it. Yeah! No, not the ghastly. You, you don't want to fight the ghastly. I like how this game has a micromanage mode. Hey. Hey, come here. There's a buizel. Yeah, fight the buizel. Come on. Come on! It doesn't want to fight the buizel. Stupid olive. What? You have to aim it and press R. No, I don't want to do, like, a, a Pokemon battle. I wanted to do the auto-fight with the buizel. Maybe it'll auto-fight the Psyduck. Is that, is that the auto fight? Is the R? I think it's tuckered out. What is that? That's the pepper thing. It doesn't look like a pepper. It looks like a duck. It looks like a little, a little... I guess that's the pun. That's the point. The kappa creature. found a bo whose bone was that Hello This child goes to the same school I do this like 5-year-old baby and he's fine just coming out here running around in the open world with all these monsters He's doing great. Oh, it's my my olive is dying. Maybe, maybe I expected a little too much of him. Uh, if any of you guys want to hop into the game world, let me know. You would be welcome to do so. Helping hand. That's kind of garbage. Yeah, we don't need that. I know, like, having another player near you can have, like, uh, like, their, their version exclusives can spawn in your game that way. That said, there's not a ton of version exclusives in this in this gen. It's mostly just Area Zero. There's a few of them. Not a ton, though. I know there are four pseudo-legendaries that are version exclusive. Two of them to Scarlet, two of them to Violet. A Pulte Geist is in the game. I assume that's hers and not one that I can catch. Worth a shot. No.
What is that? There's a flying thing. What are you? Are you... You're not the olive evolution. No, it's like a like a tadpole balloon? Tadbulb. Hmm. Is it a water grass type? How, how do it float, though? What about being a tadpole grants it the ability to fly? A certain Pokemon can only evolve if you join another person's game. Huh. Wow, that's a... That's gonna be that's gonna be a pain to do once like online goes down for this game. Oh, it's electric. Tadbulb shakes its tail to generate electricity. If it senses danger, it will make its head blink on and off to alert its allies. Uh Not that the Pokemon franchise is any stranger to uh, features that become inaccessible. Like somewhere down the line after their services end. Pokemon Bank. The... I, it's technically still exists. There was a, uh, there was an AR, augmented reality game that accompanied Pokemon Black and White 2 you could get on the 3DS that uh, let you get the special forms of the... the... like, the Weather Gods or whatever they were? Those guys. Hello. Are you related to the light bulb? It's Flittle. I... I it looks like a fairy. That's my guess. Oh, it has a psychic move. I'm guessing it's very psychic? Oh, I don't have my catcher anymore. Alright, uh, Rock. Get in there. Solo queue. Give him the salt. Your teammate failed. And just like always, you now have to carry the team. It kind of looks like a Maple Story mushroom. Obviously squarer because of the salt cube gimmick, but, uh... Then again, I guess, uh... I guess, what's it? The, the, the fairy mushroom Pokemon. Also kind of looks like, uh, like a Maple Story mushroom. A little bit. It's a f the Frill Pokemon. Flittle's toes levitate about half an inch above the ground because of the psychic power emitted from the frills on the Pokemon's belly. Okay. It's like a dolled up chingling. I don't think I like it. I thought of Minecraft when I saw that Pokemon. I think that was also the first thing I referenced. Am I still not at the... Did I go past the Pokemon Center? I thought that's where I was going to. Oh no, it's just it's just a ways off. Everything looks so much smaller on the map. Let me go heal with the nice picnic lady real quick.
It is, it is extremely easy to wander off and get distracted because of the items. How you doing, Jack? Of these are anything significant. They're just decoration. These, uh. These big clumps of grass. They kind of stand out. Oh, what? I got bit. These, these little pepper fuckers like to bite me in the ankles. Am I almost done? Wait, wait, what do you mean, are you almost done? I was gonna stick it on the Psyduck, the Psyduck. Oh, there it is. Hey, get him! What is that? Oh, it's a gimme ghoul. I guess I can't, like, capture these? Am I ever get, where am I gonna like find gimme ghouls to fight? Because the, all, all the ones that I've seen are just like items. They're in chests. I see. There's another raid thing. I should probably at least be checking like what Pokemon these are. Uh, it's a te <laughs> yeah, gonna do that tentacle raid boss. I don't have anything great against psychic against fighting. I don't have a psychic team member yet. Good old sack of shit. Cannot wait to drop him from the party. That is the weirdest seismic toss animation. Running is valid. I know it is, but... I never feel like I have enough levels in this game. I don't know why, which is weird, because I've never really felt that way in a Pokemon game before. Maybe it's just because it's so easy now to avoid fights that I feel like if I do that all the time, I'm, the game's going to punish me for it. Uh, I'll come back for you. Maybe. Really love a Pokemon Center. Look at all this open world. Is there, a, is there a guy giving out prizes at this Pokemon Center?
No? Alright. Start avoiding the trainers, because even if you travel to gyms in order, the trainers will be like 20 levels over you. Well, I'm not experiencing that yet. If anything, that sounds like more reason to, like, fight the trainers, so as to not get out-leveled. What's up here? Boy, this, uh, this, looks, this looks like a great cliff to jump off. That's their explanation for how your trainer survives all this. With the with the Rotom parachute. Does someone joining have unlimited access to run anywhere they want? I assume so. Are are you ready? Do you want to try now? Let me uh let me beat this one trainer and then I will go back up to the Pokemon Center and I'll start a I'll start a party because I think you have to start them at uh, at Pokemon Centers. Where is that trainer? I just saw him. There he is. Okay, no, there is variance even in the NPC trainers. Because the last backpacker had uh, darker skin and, like, black hair, not blonde. There's a fungus. A mungus. That does not look like a Maple Story Mushroom. I like how uh, Gen 5 was so dedicated to being a, a soft reboot that it even felt the need to have its own fake Pokeball Pokemon. Because uh, Voltorb was an old hat. They needed a new thing to trick players on the field. A, 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 a mimic equivalent. So many of these trainers only have one Pokemon. Now, from a Pokemon Center... Connect to internet? Communicating, there we go. I am now connected to the internet. Uh... Poke portal. I'm trying to remember. I, I haven't done this yet. Union Circle. I think that's what I want. Alright. Forming a group. Code is CLMP9U. So try putting that in at the Union Circle group join sauce. No, oh, there she is. 
Is, is that... You have, like, a Penny icon? Or does your character just look very similar to Penny? Oh, took a picture of Penny, okay. Oh, Jack, were you joining? I'm s I didn't know you were joining. Hello. So, you didn't go to my Pokemon Center. I got moved to yours? Where are we? We're in Mesa Goza. Uh, Jack, let me know. If you do want to join, let me know. And I will... I, I guess I'll start another group for the three of us to get into. So, I wonder if you always have to start as a group in uh, Mesa Goza. I also didn't really explore the city any. Can I get, like, uh, new hairstyles or anything at a salon or something? I also don't know how uh, breeding works in this game, where the location for that is. Is every door a real door? No, we got real fake doors. We've created a paradox. A lot of restaurants. I'm curious if there's things besides restaurants. Large woman and child. Like, this is a restaurant, right? Deli bird presents. Great gifts go. Oh! Uh. Battle items. General goods. Power weight power. Oh. Okay. Well, these are nice items to have access to immediately. These are like uh, EV training items. General goods. Oh, that's the general goods. Uh, battle items. There's the type items. Pokemon Rotom phone cases. Is there a black case? Oh, there's not. I get Weed Cat case. So I wonder if there were other, like, deli stores in the. Okay. <laughs> It was just because I was too close to the building. I thought that your, uh, I thought your Coridon didn't work for a second. Now here's a question. Can I fly with, like, you in the party? That's where the Pokemon League is? Huh. So I can fly. Does this bring you with me? Or are you just out in the world wherever you want to be at? I would kind of hope that you were free to just, like, do whatever you want to do in the world. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't bring you with me automatically. That's nice. It seems like a... It seems like a fairly functional online multiplayer. I'm gonna fight a cowboy now. If I win, you gotta buy my CD. Sorry, cowgirl. It's pretty pretty often the battle camera goes under the under the ground. I've noticed. It fixes itself. Once it's above, it stays above. It doesn't go under again. It's just the start of the battle cam likes to go down there a lot.
while Olive can can now hold his own, so that's nice. No one buys CDs anymore. This this game is just full of like making fun of old people. I don't know how I feel about that about that. I'm I'm an old person. Okay, granted, not even I buy CDs anymore, but still. I, I saw that. I saw the I saw the standing cat. Oh, hello, Arvin. Seems like the open sky titan lives somewhere up on this mountain. There are all these crazy boulders raining down. Gonna be a little tricky to stand around and look for the titan while dodging those. Dodging, you say. Maybe you could power way, power your way through atop that brute of yours. Where, where are these boulders? I ain't afraid of no boulders. I'm strong. I'm tough. I'm a real trainer. Oh, hello. Jack? Prosciutto. Potato tortilla. Olive oil. Cheese. Tell me about no stupid boulders. Come on, give me another one. I dare you. She's having a good day. No. They're afraid of me now. You'd think it would run out eventually. Okay. Uh, here. Let me pokey pokey. I'm sure this will also let me stand in place and uh, not worry about boulders. Uh, s Sauce, I am going to disband and make a new group so that uh, Jack can join. Because apparently, I cannot open an existing group. Alright, new code is 528RYM. kind of a shame that you can't uh, just like keep a group open for people to come and go as they please but I, I guess it's more than I was expecting from a Nintendo games online that's a very low bar they've set a very low bar for themselves to impress me with sauce is stuck in a battle oh there she is all right. Oh, it tells you which version they're into. Yep, just like I thought. It is a grape-themed academy. So now I assume this will send us back to Mesa Goza, and I'll have to run up the mountain again. 
This is the year of almost perfect online. Well, I'm not going to say almost perfect. Almost competent. It's better than Animal Crossing. <laughs> and the many hoops you have to jump through. God, and the whole island, like, shutting down every time someone comes or goes in Animal Crossing. Uh, Jack, there's the, there's the violet one. Oh, the violet one gets to move on its wheels. So, presumably, I don't know where there would be version exclusives, but, uh, Jack's would appear for me as long as we're close by one another. Where are we? We're in the south part of the city. So yeah, I guess uh, we can just go about playing our own games at this point, and uh, we won't like be disconnected from each other. We won't have to stay on the same screen all the time or anything. It would be nice to, like, adventure together a little more proper, but I think I'm a little... I'm a little too far ahead of Jack right now to do that. Yeah, Sauce can go wherever. She's already beat the game. Uh, Jack... I guess it'd be a good idea to head the way that we have been going this stream, west out of town towards the first gym. But that's assuming that he's already done, like, the school stuff and everything. I don't know how far along he is in that. Egg power... Go for Broke Grill. Paella de, Pal de Paldia. Yeah, it's just, there's food all over this game that you can buy to give you... I guess just assorted little power-ups. Walls are for chumps. Oh, there was an item I just saw! Man. What's this? What's this back alley deal going on? No, they won't talk to me. They won't acknowledge my existence. Well, I, I'll resume what I was doing for now, I guess. Who's that? That's saucy. make the windmill FPS go down if you tilt the camera. Does it actually, like, move you slower on top of the windmills? Also, when he said, I'll bet you could, like, get by on your brute. Do I just, like, plow through the boulders on this thing? Do I not have to dodge them at all as long as I'm on Coridon? Is that a Choodle? Yeah, there's one up here. I guess uh, they're not exclusive to that particular, like, uh, that outbreak. Let's try. Yeah, he's just he's just a little stunned. He, get, he gets a little bonk from the boulders and that's it. And Japan sure loves pachinko.
What is that? That's a new Pokemon. What is it? It's like eating its flap. I don't like that. Why is it doing that? It's got a big flappy thing hanging off the front of it and it's in its mouth. Well, uh, what, what's, what's, I don't have anything. I get, I have the rock. It's a stork. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's like a sack. It's like a baby bag that it's carrying. Not, not a big old floppy. It's a, fl it's a baby bag. It's a floppy baby bag. No rock moves. I have Smackdown. I'm only going to get one shot to use it, but... Yeah, take that, Titan. Uh... Yeah, I don't have a lot for this. Might have to just bring out my fire, dude. Let me see if I can heal the rock. I still got some healing items. I got so many potions I'm never gonna use. What does Mudshot do again? May lower the target's speed stat. That would be nice if it procced. I don't know if it will. Yeah, I am now double rock. Pretty damaging considering the size and level difference. It just it just doesn't show you the level for these Titan creatures. Is that enough to uh, initiate phase two? It is. Cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's where it was supposed to go. And then it eats the herb. This bird's just been up here dropping rocks on people. Again, you'd think it would run out of rocks eventually. Stork, she says. Uh Can I do it again? No, I'm in I'm I'm the olive now. I forgot. I was the olive. Try to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine, yeah? I don't like the noises it makes either. Oh, we got two rocks. Okay. This uh, I like this guy. Arvin is smart. He always comes with a pro with a Pokemon appropriate for the Titan battle. I'm so tired of having like stupid doubles partners. Mm. They're a rock polish too. Doesn't hurt. Crydon, he's, he's just there. He's just watching. Saucy is ruining the, the drama. Where where are you, Sauce? Is that your Crydon? I thought I thought that was mine, just in the background. My 
I see nothing here, not even your trainer. This is like, you know, I I kind of figured, I'm glad I got the hat and time highlights out when I did, because this is really similar to what happens in that game. Where the player two, the player two and on are just kind of, they're just kind of there in the background in their own world as stuff happens for the actual player. And it looks so stupid when you see the video. I gotta say, this bird wasn't much of a threat. I guess that's not that's to be expected after we took out the the, the car. The car was goodbye, sauce. Fly free. Just poke her, poking the head out. I don't see I don't see the trainer. I don't see saucy, but I see her Karidon. Yes! Way to go! He's too excitable to be Gordon Ramsay. I'm not gonna stop doing it. Has to be more of that urban mystica it ain't in here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. Oh, did we not kill it? Pokemon don't die. No one dies in Pokemon Verse. Except humans because they then become ghost Pokemon and carry masks to remind them of their tragic human lives for the rest of their miserable existences. Or if they're lucky, become friends with Gengars, one or the other. Oh, is the cave no longer there for you? I just kind of assumed the cave was there for the rest of the game after you did the Titan event. We found a bitter herb. Great for your circulation. Gets the blood flowing. Warms you right up. Nice and toasty. Even boosts the immune system. So it says. I can slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. This is also a trope I'm tired of. The vague pronouns. He's going to be using those, like, every appearance, isn't he? Like, through all five of these Titan encounters. Also, there's Bob's your uncle again. It is an extremely European saying that we just don't have here. Oh, they, they don't like the bitter sandwich. Smells funny. Have your sandwich. Oh, come on, you again! Good thing I made extra. Yeah. Helping you out with- uh, helping him out with all the hard stuff. Definitely, absolutely did not make extra so that Koridon could have a sandwich, okay? Why is- why is he, like, Sundere towards a Pokemon? What a weird character trait. It's not like I li it's not like I like you or anything, Baka. Yeah. All right, what new what new power can I fly now? Saucy can fly. How come I can't fly? Are there really like uh, like five or six forms of this thing? I just know it's like its wheel changed a little bit. Should tell you the full. Okay, tell me the full story, Arvin. Here we go. 
It's my boss stiff. Your what stiff? Oh, it's a, it's it's Seymour from Futurama. There's a dying dog story. Why is there a dying dog story? He can only survive by the power of sandwiches. His life is extended. Don't it, PSA. D don't feed sandwiches to dogs. That's that's generally not a good idea. But he was hurt really hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad. Never never really recovered. If you try to Pokemon Center, those exist. You bleeding donkey. Yes, I tried a Pokemon Center. It's the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over, tried every every cure and remedy, but nothing worked. What about what about the the secret potion from Cyan Wood? Did did you try that? Herba Mystica. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. Yep, legendary book, legendary foods. I too will find the all blue. That kind of stopped coming up in one piece. That was Sanji's goal. He wanted to find the, the place where every fish in the world congregated. The all blue. It just, it just, it just stopped coming up. So we have, we have to find the five magic herbs to save this, this, to save Arvin's dog. It looks so sad. Can, can you see? Are your eyes open? He's getting better. A little bit. He's a little better. We can, we can save the pupper. These herbs can cure cancer. Well, well, pokey cancer. We don't we don't know about people yet. Ways to cure Pokemon. Feed them many many berries. Use the secret potion. Uh, feed them five magic herbs. Don't question the origin of the herbs. Was that it? I can't think of any Pokemon healing side quests in Pokemon games. Alright, here, here is Cavewoman Professor. I detect that Coridon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. Okay. That's pretty early in the game to acquire a Surf equivalent. I appreciate it. I am relying on you to continue taking good care of Coridon. Ugh. Jack caught a flamigo. Oh, I haven't, I haven't found flamigo yet. I wonder if that's a violet, uh, exclusive. I, I am aware of flamigo because it is literally just a flamingo. That, that is all I know about flamigo. Okay, so I can surf now. Let's try it out. Oh, Psyducks. Oh, Buizel. Oh, there's items on the water, too. Everstone. Is that all that's in here, is Psyducks and Buizels? Oh, it's the... it's... what is this? It's the light bulb. I got I got I got a floaty. What do you got?
did one of my guys evolve? No, not yet. You know what? I don't want to fight this thing. Oh, come on, really? Also, why can the why can the light bulb use water gun? It must evolve into an electric water type. Okay. So I I can swim, but I cannot climb yet. Assuming I will be able to in the future. I don't know that I will be able to. Okay. Well, I, I got a thing done. What's next on the map? What other areas might I explore? And where is Jack, for that matter? There's another Titan up that way. Was that an out... Oh, there's multiple outbreaks per day. It's not just the one. I think that's the, that's the weakest... Team Star crew is the Dark crew. So I could go that way. There's a, uh... Chef Kawasaki dude. Maybe a sushi chef. It's a water type. Looking like. I should be able to see Jack on the map, right? There, there's a go-go watching me. There's a psychic gym out this way. Is Jack still in the game? Maybe he's not. Maybe he left. Psychic is level 48. Oh, okay. Bro, okay. Good idea not to go there then. Yeah, I don't know if he's still here. I would think that I would be able to see him on the map, but oh, he's in the he's in the starting area. So I wonder what the if Flamigo is like in that real early game area. I wonder what the Scarlet equivalent is. I guess I'll just, I'll work my way towards the Team Star thing. I'll start with that, uh, start with that Pokemon Center. Can I push? No, I cannot push. There's no collision with other players. Sad. Reset the map. Does the map only load everyone's location once? Weird. No, it says you're still, uh... It says you're still in the in the south of the town area. Are you not there, Jack? I moved quite a bit. So where are you now? Oh, there's another one of the of the fire guys. Who do I want to fight it with? Probably not the... I don't want the add the olive and I don't want the... I don't want the olive and I don't want my water guy. Oops! Uh, no, run. I don't want to fight the donkey. I want to fight the fire guy. Where'd fire guy go? There he is. Uh, do you want... I have some... What? What? What is a five-star Pokemon? Are the, the Pokemon have star ratings? Yeah, I, I don't really need any level 40 Pokemon yet. I would be curious about the uh, Violet... Exclusives. You know what? Maybe I'll maybe I'll go to where Jack is and see if they like pop up near me after I catch this guy. Oh, this is level thirty. Uh oh. Maybe this is a bad idea. 
It's all right, I'm a rock, I can take it. I got the salt to handle a little fire. That didn't make any sense. I said it anyway. It's a high level Pokemon from a Terra Raid. Alright, Pokeball. I do know Pokemon at high levels are harder to catch. And I only have... Well, I have two gym badges, so... Still, I think I can still only catch, like, up to 25 easily, though. Given the ones that I have. Give me the fire guy. Yeah! I wonder how crit catches work in this game. Because I've seen the I've seen the ball wiggle a whole variable number of times throughout this game. Ah, eh, we don't need endure. Charcadet. Fire Child Pokemon. Burnt charcoal came to okay, we Wait, did, did I not already have that? I've seen that Pokedex entry before. Oh, here we go. Sack of shit. What's he gonna turn into? He's gonna turn into a Quagsire, I assume. Nope, it's a Claude Sire. Alright, that is an exceedingly appropriate name. For uh, that creature. Spiny fish Pokemon. When attacked, this Pokemon re will retaliate by sticking thick spines out from its body. It's a risky move that puts everything on the line. Okay. Uh, no, you don't need amnesia. In fact, you don't need anything anymore. Ankle biters. Is that uh, sauce has the the fancy area zero jiggly puff? All right, Saka, you're going in the box. What am I taking out? Take out the bagel. Uh, is Dunsparce a level evolution? Will he evolve into something new? I haven't done anything with EGAD either. I have no idea what it turns into. It's a very it's a very basic Pokemon, so I'm sure it won't be anything too interesting, but uh I'll give it a shot. No. Ah! Leave me alone! I hate these things. I hate these little, these little pepper fuckers. Alright, map. I would like to unlock a Pokemon Center. Maybe unlock Pokemon Center and then fly to, uh, fly to where Jack is. And it looks like that's the one right there. So I wonder how time of day works if it's not tied to uh, if it's not tied to the real time clock. And I also wonder if uh, Pokemon encounters vary by time of day, like Ghastly's 
historically more common at night. Alright, uh, Jack, where are you at right now? Last time he was here. Uh, it still says he's here. Still says he's in the south area. Hello. It's a good animation. Oh, he gets dizzy after that. So, uh, Jack, is this where you found the Flamigo? I kind of want to see if I can follow you and get one to spawn on my screen. Yeah, this is something that has been in the past several generations, the spinning. Saucy, join us! No, this is not where you found the Flamigo. Where, where did you find the Flamigo? Way behind the stream. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Let's take some weird selfies with her, my, my friend and her invisible phone. Buy some pawns. Can you, like, take me there? I think they'll only spawn... I, from what I hear, violet Pokemon will spawn as long as I'm, like, next to you. So if you and I both go there, they should spawn on my screen. That I'm just curious to see if it does work that way is all. And also, what is the... So what's the Scarlet equivalent? This isn't going to work. Let... Jack, just go... Jack, just go where it is. And I will follow you. I don't know why you keep stopping moving. I think it only works in Area Zero. Oh, okay. Well, if it only works in Area Zero, then never mind. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not set up to do voice with the, uh, with the console recording. I'll fly back to what I was doing. Definitely not going to the psychic place. That'd be a bad idea. I know Flamigo was not in the, uh... the evolutions list. Or the, the exclusive list. It must just be, like... Maybe you can get it early game in Violet, but not in Scarlet.
Okay, so where am I going next? I could go to the, the dark base. I have no idea how strong the water gym is. Let's go dark next. big open area, but I... I feel like we're not getting a ton of new Pokemon at a time. We're definitely getting more than, uh, than Sword Shield had in the wild area. There's a Swablu. Hello, Swablu. And our buddy Clive is back. Yes, hello. Clive. That's me, Clive, the normal academy student. I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. What's your end game? I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star, and what's causing its members' odd behavior? So, so they're the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the Academy. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble. Oh, the trouble. Can we make it double? I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five in particular, the so-called bosses. This is a common trope. The organization of, of, like, the bad kids, the bosses of the school. The four pillars. In this case, five. Was it, I think... Did Tenchi Muyo do that, or what What am I thinking of? I don't think it was Tenchi Muyo. It was a different series. The student council is higher than God. That's right, they are the law of this land. Nothing in your life will ever be more important than the hierarchy in high school. So they're, they're, they're about to get expelled, and he's, he's... Friendly student Clive is worried about his fellow students getting expelled. He doesn't want that to happen. Jack, why do you keep catching Flamigos? We could trade. We could trade Mons. Maybe there's something I have that he'd like. you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Well, yeah, it was my buddy Clive. Why can't I answer that? Be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. I technically, yes, we technically took out the second boss first. All right, so how do we trade then? Link trade. Uh, we can begin searching, I guess.
I would imagine it should be easy to do with the people in the party. Why do I need to enter a code for this? I, I have... I, I want to trade with one of my two... My, one of my guys. Uh, Jack. Can you see what I have? What do I want to give him? What would Jack like? I could give him the Cyclazar. Did I already have? Oh, I already had a... You know what? I have a spare... Uh, I have a spare Char Cadet. You can have Bosch. Here you go. It just showed me the... It showed me the... The Pokedex entry again, despite my already having one. I named him after the Red Ranger. There he is, there's Flamigo. It's literally just a Flamingo. Waiting for the other person's decision. Jack, hit A again. Uh-oh. Communicating, there we go. I wonder if Flamigo evolves. Surely. Surely it's not just a Flamingo forever, right? It is just a Flamingo forever. Well, okay, that's an evolution line taken care of. It's- oh, it's fighting type. Synchronized Pokémon. This Pokémon apparently ties the base of its neck into a knot so that energy stored in its belly does not escape from its beak. What? It, it has to tie its neck in a knot so as not to vomit? That's its lore? This is another one of those tortured existence Pokémon. Also, it's way down at, like, the end of the Pokedex. Why is Jack getting them so early? Maybe there was an outbreak or something? I gotta find the, uh, I gotta find the, the Pokemon breeding in this game. So that we can breed some starters. And I get my own weed cat. Hello? Legs. And the, the, the Team Star Grunts, the female ones got short shorts. Take too, we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. You don't turn around here, Amiga. We'll have to send you packing with peace and love. Team Star! Yep, I, I am the one. I am the one who defeated the Ultra Fight Lady and her car. Your strongest, fiercest member. Right? Fire was the strongest one. Definitely not, uh... Definitely not the fighting one. With her level 60-something team. Nope, the fighting one was the strongest. Or, the fire one was the strongest. It's the Picnic? What? I'm sorry. You breed Pokemon through picnics? Sassy kids like you are the worst. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Yep, male, female. Every single one is now Ringo Star. Would this not have been a much more appropriate team for, like, Sun and Moon Team Star? I don't know how it works, though. Eggs show up in the basket on the ground. Well, you see, no one has ever really seen a Pokémon lay an egg. No one knows how this mystical event happens. It's a mystery. The 
biology teacher says that, of course they're still saying that. Nobody knows where they came from. Sex Ed is not mandatory in Pokemon Verse. They can get away with just saying that forever. User trades held items with the target faster than the eye can follow. Could be useful. If I happen to know a opponent's held item. I'm probably not going to have EGAD in the party for long, though. Oh no! I was beaten in a Pokémon battle! Battle. It's a good word. Sounds like beetle. Finish up here for me. Thanks. Hasta la vista! Alright. She's new to the team. I'd have to have a little chat with her about that at what attitude. Was it because she was like she was too aggressive? This guy's cooler, like, hey, you know, you know what this is. Don't mess with us. I don't want to fight you. Why don't you just go home? Let let's all be happy. This was like a good cop, bad cop encounter. Hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the Segan Squad. Their boss, Giacomo? Giorno? Giovanni? Pretty much runs the whole of Team Star. I'm sorry, the the weakest one is the is the, the leader? He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war wouldn't have ruffled him in the slightest. Okay, so he's the he's the weakest in battle, but he's the brains of the operation. He's gonna wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategic types like him. No way, you're you're smart enough, idiot, stupid Zelrog. Just punch him really hard, you're strong enough. I, I could not strategize him. You don't gotta be mean about it. What is with this Breaking Bad guitar intro to this part of the map's music? And then it goes back to the, the, the piano. I, I should probably heal. My rock took a little bit of damage. You know what? Auto heal? Do I have to... I have to go into the bag to... Where, where's the auto heal? I know that was a feature. I got, I got so many potions that I need to use. Jesse, we have to raid Team Star. Just one more base, Jesse. It's probably a little more Christian Bale Batman than it was Walter White. First three Pokemon in my party. Okay, who am I bringing in? This is dark, so I guess I should probably. I'm, I'm high enough level that I can, I can bring the rock in. Bug is good against dark. Bug is good, and uh, fighting would be. You know what? There we go. I'll, I'll bring in the bug, and I'll bring in my, uh, I'll bring in my my strongest too. Wiglet is going to take it home for us once again. If it weren't painfully obvious, I have never I have never watched Breaking Bad. Sorry. What a weird asymmetrical logo they've got. All right. 
See you later, Jack. I don't know how long I'll go today. This is, uh... Probably a couple more hours. It's 3.50 now. Probably stop around 6. Alright. Gatecrasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokémon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you! Is this- is this every- every base is the same? I thought they would be, like, unique challenges. I don't know why I thought that. Uh-oh, no, 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 return! Retreat! I don't want you fighting Murkrows, they're flying type. Are there, uh, are there weaker dark types? No? Just Murkrows? Okay, Sneasels, you can take Sneasels. Sneasels, uh, Ponyards will be great for Fire Guy. No, wh where are you going? Stunkies? Maybe they'll they'll work. I'd love I love my dirt eel, my little wiggler fella. Where are my mons? Where they go? Here, fight the- fight the Ponyards. What are these, some- some sand dials? Let me take those. I think Nimble's gonna go down. However, it- it- it should get healed before the final battle. I think I remember that happening. Y'all got Zeruas? I guess this speeds up the process of dealing with grunts. Like they're all they're all throwaway battles anyway. Always have been. The other the first two mons defeat the enemies before the bug even has the chance to come out. Uh oh, nimble down. I need four more. Ten minutes is so generous for this. Look, and they got four little bugs out in the field here. What are they gonna do? Nothing, that's what. Alright, good fight. Seems despite me being in the base, my model is removed while you're doing this challenge. Alright, that makes sense. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. George! If, does every member of Team Star have one of these stupid cars? Am I gonna fight this one too? Alright. That's a neat design. I like this guy. I physically cannot ruin the moment. All right, well maybe maybe it didn't show up in the challenge. Maybe it'll show up in the in this in the battle scene. I Giacomo at the deck. I go by DJ Vice. It's a vibe either way. Vibe. Nice to meet you and all. How about we skip straight to your outro? I'll play you a sick requiem. He doesn't strike me as a dark type trainer. He's too dude, bro. It's, it's Grimsley's illegitimate son. I was thinking of uh, who was the who's the dark guy in Sword Shield. He does have Grimsley's hair, though. You're right. All right. Uh, Bug is good against dark. I don't like it being a seal type, though. Look, look at that 90s hat of his. Oh, hello. I, I see Karidon. Just hanging out. Having a good time? 
No, I'm not the party crasher. She is. Don't look at me. <laughs> Can you go over to his side of the field and just hang out like you're on his side? Can you poke your head out of the front of the car like a hood ornament? Rev of okay, so every one of these has has a car. There she is. This is just this is every 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 team star boss. I'm just fighting a car. What even is this Pokemon? I'm not going to be able to get these cool, like, forms, the Starmobiles. And dead. They're a little far back. I, gu I guess it doesn't make sense to assume the car is going to be a steel type, despite it being a car. It's just going to be whatever type the, the squad leader is. Why am I fighting a car, though? It is a steel type? I thought it was a, like a pure dark type. It doesn't say fire is super effective. And the fire car was just a fire type. It wasn't steel. Let's cry on just hanging out. Oh, I do see your trainer. It's not just Koridon. Can you can you go where my Pokemon is? Can you form like an unholy fusion of Fire Crocodile and Koridon? You can get in the way of the attacks. That seems dangerous. I got potions. I haven't paid attention to what stats it's been it, stat changes it's been using. Oh, special attack down. Okay. Well, that's bad for me because I am a dedicated special attacker. So Boost the speed stat of the game, yeah. I don't have anything great to swap into. I, I guess the rock. The rock's probably gonna die here. Mudshot can lower speed. I also haven't been paying attention to its ability. The last one had speed boost. Do all the cars have speed boost? Let me see if I can lower its, uh, lower its accuracy. Maybe I can use the same strat as last time. Oh, no! Wiglet! Uh, mm hmm. Well, this isn't good. I get. I can recharge my Fire Crocodile's attack stat by swapping out. I probably should have swapped into it instead of the Olive. What's fresh water? Fresh water's 30, 70. I got a few. I got a few healing options. What is Wicked Torque? Check status. It hasn't rate. No, it doesn't have speed boost because its speed hasn't increased any.
Let me give it a flail and not hit it because I'm too slow. I'm just gonna have to... I don't have anything that can hit hard enough besides the crocodile. Which keeps getting, uh... It keeps getting knocked out of out of out of action because it it lo loses its special attack stat. Attack stat. You're doing great, boss. Yeah, all of us Ringos are behind you. Play that funky rock music. Wicked Torque does not lower my special attack. It must have been... Was it using Snarl? A, c a car snarled at me. I, I'm sorry. Wicked Torque can put me to sleep? But... Uh, huh? What about a car driving into me? with malicious intent, puts me to sleep. I'm so fucking confused. Also, why, why does, like, getting hit not have a chance to wake up the Pokémon? That always felt weird in Pokemon, that that wasn't a thing. It has to be some other thing, I never got that. I could be an ability, I guess. Is there an ability that has a chance to cause sleep on contact? She looks at once so determined and so concerned. Like, she wants to be confident, but she's just not. Alright, I can take one more hit. As long as it doesn't crit- No! I mathed wrong. I could not take one more hit. Alright, EGAD. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I'm sorry, you're not gonna evolve this fight. Thank God for the incredible, needless overabundance of items in this game. That's the only way I'm, I'm beating these cars. My trainer is so lost. I see you back there. You're still there. I haven't paid for a single health item. Well, why would you? Okay, so it deals 20, 21 damage. Doesn't matter. I defeated Giorno Giovanni. I'm a true JoJo. I guess there aren't that many gimmicks you could do for a Dark-type trainer, but... Like, Club DJ? I, I don't get that. What's, what's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? Big Boss just wanted my take on some stuff. We had a chat and settled on a few plans. Yep, Operation Star. New code of conduct for the team. Tons of new members have joined up. We gotta make some team rules like a code so people will be on the same page and not misbehave. That didn't seem to work. Used to be the president of the student council, but everyone ended up hating me after that. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. Atticus. Yeah, he's one of, one of those uh, too strict rules guys, I guess. 
Well, yeah, I guess he learned from it. He doesn't want to be near the new team code. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. This is a, a new way of delivering narrative for Pokemon games. I'll give it that. Code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at now. I'd follow that any day. But he failed again because the new members are all, like, being jerks. Because you go to the club at night. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that looks way more friendly than the, the, the picture I got with the lady who broke my arm. I earned a TM. I earned foul play. That's a good move. I'd like that on my team. User turns the target strength against it at like 80 or 90 power. Yep, this is how the party ends. Your Pokemon are crazy strong. They only needed like five revives to beat my car. You learn those trainer tra I, I have set foot in the academy like twice. You like it at the Academy? I don't know. Basically never been there. Yes. Giant Pompadour. Old versus new. Eight, 80s versus... 90s? I gotta say, Giacomo does not look hip. He's looking a little... He's looking a little chuggy himself right now. But, uh, Clive, with the power of friendship and Generation X to Zoomer bonding, can reform Giorno Giovanni and return him to the, to, to the straight and narrow. They're all headed for expulsion. Why don't you break up the team and start attending class again? We're actually waiting on a pal. We don't know if they'll be coming back. Okay. So, I, I'm predicting, it seems like it's hinting pretty pretty heavily that Penny is Cassiopeia. She's the one leading this operation. Alternatively, as a twist, what if she was the boss of Team Star? Ooh. No, that's way too clever. This game wouldn't do that. Only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like, there's a top ch I'm sorry, I can't take it seriously. The fact that people take a high school club, a high school clique, so seriously. Doesn't matter if it's Pokemon, if it's, if, if it's JoJo. I don't think we have that in JoJo, but it's a thing in so many anime series, and it's such a tired, dumb trope. Tenjo Tenge. That's what I'm thinking of. Not Tenchi Muyo. Tenjo Tenge was one of those, uh, one of those high school fight drama series with, like, a four pillars kind of plot. I think Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple had that. There was, a, there was a squad of, like, ultra high schoolers. Yep. Team Star, they tight. They, they, they delinquents, they stick together. Great treasures. Look at that logo. Okay, it's loaded. Yep. I now have the star badge because everyone has badges in this game. The Segan squad is pretty much done for. I got distracted for a second there again. Thinking of my, uh, my subordinate Giacomo. I being the, the boss of Team Star. You'd have to come up with a thing where, like, the, the new members are so new that they don't recognize Penny as the leader. 
with her getting like jo like jostled at the start of the game. Hello. From the supply unit. Wink, wink. You smell like sandwiches. Just like everyone else in this fucking region. They explain later why that is. What, why Koridon likes her? What is that Pokemon? I, I don't know. I just ride it. A giant question mark of a Pokemon. No, that's Generation 3. That you could have a giant question mark. And you had to jump through a lot of hoops to get that question mark. Why Penny isn't recognized. Okay, well that indirectly confirms one of my two theories. Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star, who are totally not my subordinates, by the way? Eh, they're not all that. Some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. These misfits and outsiders, outsiders found each other and banded together to form a team of incels. Sorry, is that a little too real? That's just uh, info I got by hacking other me other students' social media accounts. What? No, y you don't just admit to that. Yeah, are you in with the dude who's like stealing people's, selling people's information? Good luck taking down the other bases and stuff. Game spoiled itself on that front. No, I'm still guessing. I, I, I have some theories, but I don't know for sure where this is headed. Which is the first time I can probably have ever said that for a Pokemon game, because otherwise they're very, 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 very formulaic. I mean, the dialogue is still very predictable, but uh, I, the way the plot progressing, a little less so. Oh, it's a Fampy. Okay, so what what was I saying? Uh, what kind of dark trainers have we had? We had Karen, who was in the Elite Four in Gen Two, and she was just kind of a kind of a quiet beauty kind of character, cool and mysterious. I kind of wish she appeared in, like, a later generation to get a little more, like, character. She could have been a neat, like, uh, Cynthia-esque character. Also, very unfortunate that her name is Karen. Uh, I think there was a Dark-type Elite Four member in Gen... Oh, Gen 3 had one. It had Sydney. He was, like, an Australian punk rocker Mad Max kind of dude. I don't remember about Gens 4 or 5. Gen 6 had Grimsley. Who was a uh, kind of he was a, a kind of brooding Edgar Allan Poe-ish. Maybe not quite to the degree of like what was the psychic girl Sa Chantel or was she ghost? Grimsley was neat though. There are some large women in Paldia. Variety is good. What are you? What is that? Is that... Oh, that's Aracuda. I don't really need one, but I guess I should get one because, since I'm here. Alright, Aracuda. 
Uh oh. Get up. Lock on. Lock on. Lock on! Why can I not aim? Why is this so hard? Oh, and, uh... Nanu. He was dark type. I like Nanu. Nanu was my favorite dark type trainer. He was just a, a, a police man who was just so done with everything. He was so done with Team Skull. I just, I cannot hit this. I cannot initiate a battle with this thing. You know what? Fight. Attack. Is it dead? I'm so confused. Why is this not where Okay. Uh non-waters, huh? Wiglet, you're up. I guess I'm not getting an arrow kuda. Maybe they're just decor decorative. Maybe they're not encounters because we're in a city. You don't you don't fight Pokemon in a city. It's just decorative Aracuda in the in the in the in the river. Uh, where oh, there's a beach over here. That looks nice. I like the beach. Let's go swimming. Unlock another Pokemon Center. Go on a walk with Golduck. Oh, there's a desert. There's a desert right next to the, like, water abundant resort town. Okay, I guess it's like an oasis, sort of. What new TMs are available at the TUM? See, charm, fake tears, agility. Mud slap, scary face, protect. Got the fangs that I still can't craft. Water pulse. Low kick. Not a lot of, like, strong moves. I can craft a psi beam, but none of my things can use it. Confuse ray. That's, that's a nice thing to be a TM. <laughs> I can collect ghastly gas. Well, like, in a jar? Charge beam, pounce, fire spin. Lot, lot of, lot of moves. Not a ton of really strong moves. Also, not many that I can actually make yet. But flame charge. That's a physical move, though. I, my crocodile is a special attacker. Endure foul play. I should, uh, I should teach Wiglet that. I'm like a specter at this point. I haven't seen you since the since the the squad base. Let's see, pounce. Draining kiss, no one can learn. No one can learn air cutter. Foul play. 95. At, wow, that's even higher than I thought it was. That's great. 
it uses the opponent's attack, but, uh, you know, that... Oh, it's a physical attacker. I thought it was a, a special attacker for some reason. All right. Uh, do I want to get... I'll get rid of Slam. I don't need a normal type move. All right, well, there's the desert. Let me, uh, let me go check out the gym. Where's the gym in this town at? I'm looking for someone named Jim. Is there a, is there a water elevator? If you look... Oh, I, sh I wish I'd seen that sooner. I can't move my camera now. I don't see you. I'm at the highest point of the town. What is with all these very vertical towns in Paldia? Is that you? Oh, hello. How far can I zoom in? I cannot zoom in. Wait. Darn. Oh, I want I want to like do a do a, a zoom in. Alas. Well, I can take a I can take a selfie. With my buddy Sauce. Way up there. Technically, we're both in the picture. Alright, how about now? There she is. Bolton Veluza. So do you have to like do you have to like fly up there with uh your dude? Or is there like is there a way up there normally? You're here as a gym challenger, right? Yeah. That man that just left is Kofu, leader of the Kas Kaskarafa Gym. Bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. Can you play? Yes. Okay. This is a test. This can be your gym test here. Uh, as if this... Okay, so this is not by design? There's no way... There's no way that he actually forgot his wallet and I was actually just given it. What's to stop me from just running off into the into the sunset with this dude's wallet? Is he broke? Is, is it not worth anything? Also, I heard something about I heard something about the desert. Am I going to the desert? I should have paid more attention. You have to cut through the desert to get to him. Okay. So I'm heading towards, but I'm not necessarily doing the uh, the Titan. 
No, I just, I want to jump down. I don't want to take the slow elevator. He's in another town. She said he was going to market. There, there's not a market in this town? He's got to go all the way to a different one? Yeah, I can jump. I, I realize after the fact I can jump down with Koridon. Let's make sure I also unlocked this Pokemon tent Pokemon Center. Again, I feel sorry for these guys having to work outside now. Alright. Across the desert. Uh different town. This one? Okay. I I, I see the path you mean. That's real close to the Titan. There's the abruptness of the transition from town to desert. There's houses on the sand. That's the frills thing, right? Yeah, I don't need that. Hello, Sauce. I see you in your glorious four frames. Riding off into the distance. There's a lot of this, like, uh, like, rockabilly music in this game. Hello, what are you? Are you, like, a variant of Flamingo? Espathra. I'm guessing with that, sna with that name, it's a psychic type. And is, yeah, I was gonna guess it was Flittle's evolution. Uh, well, it is also a very high level, so I am not gonna do this fight. In fact, I don't think I can safely run from it. Fortunately, I have Pokey Dolls. Because you never have to buy any item ever in this game. What are you, the No, you're the, you're the Pepper. Is the Tumbleweed a Pokemon? Yeah, you bet the Tumbleweed's a Pokemon. Bramblin. It's just dry grass with floating eyes in the middle. Hopefully this doesn't kill it. It is... Yeah, it's... It, okay. I knew it was a ghost type. Or I had a fe s suspicion it was a ghost type. Also evolves via 1,000 steps. Alright. Well, you can't even do more than one at a time because you can only have your lead Pokemon out at a time. Apparently this desert is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on and making me feel a bit sick. I saw a snake. Is that the... that's... yeah, that's the Sandaconda, or whatever it's called. I would like to find another tumbleweed. There's the rufflet. Nope, not the pepper. Don't need Dawn Fan. Just a tumbleweed. Oh, Sunstone! Uh, Saucy, does the Tumbleweed evolve? Rufflet. There's another Tumbleweed. And the Stonehenge Pokemon. Yes, with the 1,000 steps. Okay. How many of those are there? I've heard of three. Are there more than three? Okay, fire is also super effective, so it is presumably Grass Ghost. 
I only know of two. Well, we were told earlier that the the electric fighting thing was uh, one of them. So we're up to three between that and Flittle and the Tumbleweed. All right, I got Bramblin'. A soul unable to move on to the afterlife was blown around by the wind until it got tangled up with dried grass and became a Pokemon. Like a human soul, right? Just so we're on the same page? Oh, it's a, it's a female. That's a model. Well, that'll give me something to do off-stream if I uh, do run out of time to stream this game. Again, it is currently snowing. I have not looked outside since I started the stream, but it is very possible there will be a snow day tomorrow, so I might end up streaming this three days in a row. Dung Beetle. Relor. What is it rolling if not dung? closer look at that. And it it looks like, uh, I guess, as close to dung as you can get away with in a kid's game. A lot of Japanese properties like to make it pink to censor it. Digimon does that. Dr. Slump. Which, by the way, apropos of nothing, I learned recently that the Dr. Slump crossover episode of Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Super, the original Dragon Ball, was like, uh, it was like a time skip. Because the characters that were like 11 or 12 in Dr. Slump were 19, 20 in that Dragon Ball episode. So it was like a, it was like a follow-up on his previous series, like a where are they now thing. I thought that was cool. I would love that if I had watched Dr. Slump before watching Dragon Ball. This Pokemon creates a mud ball by mixing sand and dirt with psychic energy. I see. It treasures its mud ball more than its own life. So just because it's psychic doesn't mean it's smart. I, I don't know. I didn't. I, again. No creative ideas. The shiny makes the ball gold. So they can't... They've referenced Pokemon poop before. Turtonator's droppings are used as, like, explosives or as fuel or something. But they can't have a dung beetle rolling dung. They gotta make it dirt. Area two. Oh, Girafferig. I want that, but ah, I got it. I got enough party members for it. Nope, I'm not here. I'm sneaking. You don't see me. Stop following me. I'm not. I'm not gonna catch it off guard. Level 28. Hopefully this doesn't kill it. My, uh, my crocodile is a little more powerful than I would like it to be for catching. Okay. 
does Girafferig get its new evolution by level? Or is that something that has, like, a special method? I'm gonna guess that it needs to know a certain move. I'm gonna wager it's one of those types of evolutions. I, you know what? I already know about Dunsparce. It needs to it needs to level up knowing a move. Okay, yeah. Dunsparce and Girafferig. Nice to see Gen 2 getting some love. Uh, Egad. I'm gonna wager on this catch happening and you getting some experience for this. Come on, catch the giraffe. Oh no! Egad is down. I should really be sending him out against ghost types. wondering why I'm using only Pokeballs. It's because I like my, uh, it, it's, I like my Mon to all look uniform in the PC. And not have, like, a, a mess of different types of balls they're all in. That's it. That's the only reason. I wish I still had my, uh, my electric bear. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll evolve the walking Pokemon tomorrow morning, because I think I'd like to use him in the party. Electric fighting is a cool combination type. And he, the, the paralysis was so useful for catching things. Uh, do I want iron defense? Rock polish is honestly more useful. I don't think I need iron defense. Mega Drain can replace Absorb. They really thought the drain moves were going to be, like, super powerful in Gen 1. They were really afraid to have strong life drain moves. Absorb and Leech Life, I think, were both just 20 power. Mega Drain was, and still is, 40 power. Giga, that was the strongest one, was Mega Drain, at 40 power in Gen 1. Giga Drain was introduced Gen 2 and had a 60 power. You weren't kidding about that. You got the Subway cookie what? in the middle of the stream? You little flowers are getting battered by the sea breeze, but you don't care. Oh, he's he's poetic. Just like a sushi chef. Where in the world can I find more like you? I don't know what it is about his design. Probably his stupid beard. Makes him look like a miraculous ladybug character. This guy's gonna get akumatized and turn into some really dumb-looking supervillain. Okay. Well, if only my character were not mute, she should she could have yelled at him to uh, to come back. I'm just now that trainers don't like chase me down. Now that there's battle consent laws. I'm not fighting any of them. I'm ignoring every single one. Every single trainer in this game. I have, uh, I've continued watching Miraculous. Jack dropped it. It got, there were, it, it, the average quality got just too bad for him. 
somehow it still has very high highs. At its best, it is like the best version of a Magical Girl show. But it is so exceedingly rare. Like, the really good episodes have, like, really interesting, uh, really thought out, like, puzzle boss solutions to the fights. Just like JoJo. Honestly, better than JoJo fights are the, are the, like, the really, really good miraculous episodes. All, like, three of them per season. And the rest treat the viewer like a preschooler. It's, it's so baffling. The, di the stark contrast between the highs and the lows in that show. And also doesn't help that it's one of those things that is very, very blatantly now milking its popularity to last as long as possible. Like Pokemon. Like Dragon Ball. Not like One Piece. I, I don't think One Piece is milking it. I think the dude just really wanted to make a long series. I think Oda just wanted to make a really huge, grandiose series from the get-go. I don't think he's intentionally trying to drag it out. Naruto drug out. Naruto had the totally unnecessary Boruto edition. Because we needed to learn about his son. His son had the chance to make more money with, with the franchise. Alright, here we go. Where in the world? He's looking for flowers. Where is my wallet? I have your wallet. Is this the place that we get the daily hot item? Is that a returning feature? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super-duper important ingredient buying. You're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. Do you have something super important to say to us busy folks, or what? I don't know what how I'm supposed to read these lines, but the N apostrophe, I, I, it, I have to read a Southern. Easily avoidable conflict, if not for the fact that my character is a mute. Level 28, that's pretty high. I might not be ready for this place yet, but uh, let's give it a shot. Anything I switch into is going to die. Maybe I can lower its defense at least. Can it survive one water gun? It cannot survive one water gun. This poor cricket. What can I do? I can try to I can try the mud slap. It's just going to use a physical attack like slam though and destroy my 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 little wiglet. It was wiggling about. It's just trying to get by. Bite. There it goes. G G. I don't remember if I, like, saved before this. I did look up the, like, order of trainers and all, but, uh, I'm trying not to... I'm trying to play the game as, you know, intended. As Nintended. Bite. And down goes the olive. Critical hit. Come on. I'm trying to just kind of wander from place to place.
And if I encounter something that I'm not ready for yet, I can just, uh... I can go to another location. I can move on and come back later. The nice thing is that as long as I've been here, I've unlocked the, the fly locations, so... Why does she... Why, why is that the time she looks optimistic? When she's battling, like, a level 10 nothing, she my trainer looks so worried, like, I don't know if I can do this. This is when she chooses to look confident. When she has no hope of winning this fight. Is it a gym? It's not a gym badge thing, is it? Does your trainer actually start to look more confident as you get more gym badges? Actually, that would be kind of interesting. They should have done that. Cried on just, uh, just gliding back there. Just having a good time. Well, uh, this is the end of... GG. Does the water have to come out of its ass, though? I'll bet in theory I could have won that if I if I made it enough of a slog, but uh, I I don't really want to. Let me look at the list. Let me cross reference. Let me see how how far above weight class I'm punching. Uh. So, the next recommended gym is the electric one, and then, then the water one. Water is level 29 to 30. What else can I do besides the electric gym? Uh, not much. That's, uh, the electric gym and then here are, are, the, are, are the other two things that I can do. So... I guess I should not put it off. I guess I'll, I'll go. I'll go fight Electric Place. Map. Where am I? Where's North? That's North. Okay. Uh, electric is over here. So where's my closest fly location? This is my closest fly location. I'll do electric gym, and then depending on how much longer I want to go, I may come back and do the water one. Oh, hello. I'm gonna have... I, I think it takes like a hundred gimme ghoul coins to evolve... A gimme ghoul? I'm gonna have that by the time I, I run into one. I also, again, have been avoiding trainers, so I might just not be fighting enough to, uh, to get the levels I need. We'll see. We'll see how the electric place goes. Also, I can catch a, I can catch a Verizian. How do the... Saucy. Do you know how Verizian's seasons work in this game? Because that's the Pokemon that has uh, four forms, depending on... It was... Uh, seasons was the gimmick in Gen 5. Do I still have to do this? I won't get two Premier Balls by by 20, will I? Okay, they, they finally updated it. Great. Because they knew people were just doing what I'm doing.
we finally have the proper rate of one Premier Ball for every 10 Pokeballs. Verizian is the deer, yes. You have to travel to different climates on the map to find them. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, my bug doesn't have a bug move, I just realized. Oh, come on. Couldn't get away, really. Let me out of the- I need to- I need to leave the battle, teach myself a TM move, and then reinitiate the battle. That's my plan. Oh, it, uh, it, it disappears after the fight. That ma I guess that makes sense. Pounce. Yeah, give me that. Give me that actual stab move. Why? Do, why does my bug not know any bug moves? Uh, it's a physical attacker. Do I want to get rid of Astonish or Screech? What do you think, bug? Wants to forget Screech. All right, you win, little bug. Astonish is weak, but, uh, I don't know, it's another type. Has a good flinch chance. Has it been night this entire stream? No, it, it went from day and now it's night again, right? I wonder how quickly the clock moves. And if it is relevant to real time, or if it's purely in-game time. It must just be in-game time passing. Alright, what is that? That is Steeny. Little Sailor Moon plant. I feel like it could be a reference. Steeny. With, uh... Well, no, that was, uh... Sailor Moon's English name was Serena. It was a uh, Usagi in Japanese. So things I'm planning to continue, potentially keep in my party. Alternatively keep the fire croc. I don't always keep my starters. In fact, when I'm playing on my own, I usually don't keep my starters, but for a stream, I probably will. I don't usually like starter Pokemon. I'll keep Wiglet, because Wiglet rules. Wiglet owns, man. And I kind of like the electric fight thing. What is this? It's a physical attacker. So Poison Fang is better than Acid Spray. Acid Spray. Lower special defense, though, so that kind of has a stack effect. As if I'm going to use any of these moves and not just keep it in, in the back, gaining experience until it evolves. To prevent deerling from entering their fields, many farmers will have several lichen rocks stand guard as they are the natural enemy of deerling. Oh, it, it was a normal grass type. I forgot about that. So we did have that type combination before. I think deerling evolves into Verizian? Or is Verizian one of the, like, legendary swords? which was like a deer that was also grass-typed and looked similar to, to, to Deerling. 
I think maybe that's it. That's what I'm thinking of. It's just a very similar Pokemon that is a legendary for some reason. It's a big deer. That makes it special. Hello. What so? Oh, that's the fire base. I've been here. What is that? Is that Litleo? Yeah, it's Litleo. Simba. The tomato. An ether. Tall grass really means nothing anymore. I guess maybe Pokemon counters are a little more likely there, but it just it was phased out. Pokemon are anywhere now. Now that I have Surf, I could just I could follow the river and avoid most encounters, I suppose. My critical captures don't apply here. You mean while you're, like, online with me, or... Are you talking about, like, Area Zero or something? Surely they apply in Area Zero. Side, it's just all Psyducks and Buizels. That's the everywhere water Pokemon. Online. Oh. That's strange. I wonder if you use my crit capture rate, or if you just don't have that mechanic at all. Psychic terrain. Oh, I don't like terrain moves. It's a dumb mechanic. When was that introduced? Terrains? I think that was Gen 7. Because, uh, the... The legendaries, the Tapus. Tapu Lele, ta Tapu Coco. All them. They had, uh, terrain abilities. Is that the city I'm going to? Oh, I had my, my go-to place set to a Pokemon Center. Let's see. That's where I want to go. Lavincia. Alright. I should fight trainers. I should level up. I can't control my power! What's that word? for middle schoolers who convince themselves that they're, like, chosen ones, or they have special powers or something. That's a thing. There's, there's a Japanese term for that. And there was an anime about such a character. You know what? I don't trust this. I don't trust this bug. I'm gonna switch to something else. I don't have anything great to deal with water types. I got my olive. I'll send in the olive. Chunibyo. Chunibyo is a Japanese colloquial term typically used to describe early teens who have grandiose delusions who desperately want to stand out and have convinced themselves they have hidden knowledge of secret powers. That was, uh, that was a topic of, uh, of some, some manner of anime. I wonder if that was intentionally what they modeled this NPC after. I 
thought that was the slur for emos. Now, I don't think emos generally think they have grandiose delusions of special Chosen One powers. I think that they wouldn't be quite as down on themselves if they did. Vampires, maybe. Vamp kids. That, that qualifies as, as delusions of, of, of fantastical powers. That's how they could have localized this NPC. Instead of making her a, a Chunibyo, they could have made her a vamp kid. Man, draining moves are so OP, they should really nerf them. Shouldn't let them be above 20 power. Mega Drain, 40 power? Too much. Too strong. Imagine getting sucked to death by an olive. Thanks for helping me tamp down my power like that. It can be pretty overwhelming. Weirdo. Tauros. Do I dare attempt a Tauros? I, I do kind of want one. Let me just throw a ball at, at its ass. Uh, now, is it dark type? Just because it's black doesn't mean it's dark type, necessarily. Not very effective. I think it's fighting type. Maybe. I don't remember if that's the, the general Paldian one or my region, my version specific one. If it's fighting type, then what do I have? I have, I think fairy is good against fighting. Still struggling with the fairy type all these years later. I guess I should mention my history with Pokemon since I haven't during this particular playthrough. Uh, I played the series consistently up until Gen 4. Gen 4 I kind of started to fall off and then I gave up. When I saw Gen 5 being advertised I was like this looks stupid I'm not buying this. So I didn't play Gen 5, didn't play Gen 6, I came back for Gen 7. Sun Moon seemed, it looked like it was doing a lot of things right. I know it also brought uh, Vinny Vine Sauce back to the series. I, I think Sun Moon brought a lot of people back who had grown weary of the Pokemon games. And I enjoyed it. So, I did, after that, go back and play 5 and 6. This Pokémon has a muscular body and excels at close quarters combat. Uses its short horns to strike the opponent's weak spots. Ugh. So, I wasn't really following this series when Gen 5 and Gen 6 came out. I missed that era of, like, Pokemon hype, I suppose. I have been following it since getting back on board in Gen 7. But, uh, the National Dex was the main reason that I loved the series so much, so without that... My love for it has dwindled. I'm still having fun with this game. I'm enjoying it. I don't think he'll ever reach quite that same high again, though. What are you? I don't recognize this mon. Is this a new bird? Watrol. Is This isn't an evolution of something, is it? The name makes me assume it's perhaps electric flying.
what other elect it, it couldn't be the evolution of the of the light bulb could it because that was leaning toward that looked seemed like an electric water uh, I don't want to kill it so I don't know if I want to smack down we just headbutt it maybe with the minecraft block hopefully to I it's still in the green, so that should have been less than half. Maybe another headbutt won't kill it. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'll just start throwing balls. Maybe that paralysis was a saving grace. Oh. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this thing has a lower catch rate than it would appear. We also had uh, Oracorio, so this is our second electric flying type available so far in this game. Storm Petrel Pokemon. When its wings catch the wind, the bones within, within produce electricity. This Pokemon dives into the ocean, catching prey by electrocuting them. Okay. It's, it's an electric bird. It could be useful, I guess, if I wanted to mate. I should check what Pokemon I have that could learn False Swipe, because that, that's a useful move. It's good to have a False Swipe Pokemon. There's Rookity. Hello. No, I haven't been to the Great Crater yet. It's right behind my school, but uh, I'm not allowed to walk back there. I, I, I need a special, like, uh, I need a special transformation for my legendary motorcycle in order to reach that area. Do you really need to be able to fly in order to access the crater? Is that is that what this is leading towards? Might as well terrestrialize about to be in town again. Like, the, look at the, look at her face. She's so nervous now. Now that I'm fighting an opponent that I can actually beat. Maybe she feels sorry for her opponent. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe she pities this fool who has no chance against my mighty Terra bug. No chance. What uh, what did you catch, Saucy? My confidence is cratering. No, but you can access the area before you're supposed to. Flying into bef before you're meant to just sends you back under the ground. Oh. Wait, why did I get turned around? It's a fancy-looking town. What is that beacon out there on the beach? That must be a, that must be a Terra raid. It's also nice I don't have to completely stop to pick up items. terror raid down there. Probably at least looking at those, but uh, Palisand, Wiglets. It's Celeste's crystal? Huh? I, I got it. I got your crystal, Celeste. I am still always above you. Oh, are you? I get it, because you're Celeste and you're up in the stars. Don't t I'm sorry, but did, should I not have picked that up? I don't know what this is.
Just nab some stuff from the beach before I go up into town. I shouldn't dawdle. I should go into town. I, uh, I need to heal. Catch a Marill, but uh, I already have a, an Azuril, so kind of seems like a waste. Although I still don't remember how Azuril evolves. If it's just a level up or uh, might be one of those things where it needs a move. Alright, Lavincia. Defeated two areas here, an area t two trainers in area two. All right, I'm gonna try to go until six o'clock, which is fifty minutes from now. I'm gonna aim for like a five-hour stream. Surely I can beat the electric gym. Can I beat the water gym by then? Slide down a dark alley. No? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm much too fat to fit down this path. My trainer got to lose some weight. Yet? Oh. I, I went around back of the building I was supposed to enter. Oh, glasses that boost special moves. I could I could use those actually. Give them to my uh, my dedicated special attacker. Give to... There it goes. I, my croc... My crocodile now wears glasses. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give my wiglet the muscle band. I'm gonna have a, a throbbing, veiny, muscular wiglet. We just, uh... Boost its power as it slaps its weight around. Hello. Wow, you just uh, you just dropped in here. That could not have been timed better. All right, here's Nimona. I'm close by. Hang on. I'll come say hi. Hello. Hello, Goku. Look at you with two gym badges already. Awesome! This is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? I, I wanted to go to the water one first, but I wasn't strong enough yet. You probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. All right. Yeah, there's that enthusiasm. The field of battle awaits. Oh, we can't do it in here. That would be impolite. Oh. Helps to see where the court is, what it's made of, stuff like that. Huh? Battle court. What do you mean, battle court? That hasn't come up before now. Okay, so she's not continuously training Pokemon throughout this adventure. She's just, she's bringing out 
stronger Pokemon from her, uh, her box reserves. Alright. Bug versus Rock. That's not great. Think of this as a practice run. I know she already beat the champion, but if she's decided to, like, act as my rival... I would think she might, she might as well take the opportunity to just, like, start a new party. But, uh, no, she's not gonna do that. I don't... Wiglet cannot take a hit at all. I, I cannot swap into Wiglet for anything. I'm gonna bring out the Antipasto. It's a female. I probably should have called her Antipasta. I think those two be, those mean the same thing. Let me just uh, suck this dog. Suck its life energy like a Sailor Moon villain. Oh, come on! Oh, I use Double Team, that's why. Why is the school nurse in uh, in a perfume advertisement behind us? Your skills sure are ripening! Please don't use that word. Don't call me ripe. Oh, it was a pun because of the olive. I get it. Yeah, you're funny, Nimona. What if it evolves into a black olive? You know, from a green one? Pommy. Okay. Oh, you use that Pokemon too. Let's see, electric fighting. Uh, definitely not Wiglet. Electric fighting. What what do I have for that? Nothing really. Uh I don't have any ground moves other than mud slap, but that doesn't count. Alright. I'm just gonna have to power through. Middle red. One day she'll be big red. One day she will evolve and become a brand of gum and also an unrelated brand of soda that nobody likes. Oh, it's not even the evolved one. That's the that's the pure electric one. Rip. Wiglet. Now level 24. Surely it's about to evolve. That That's an evolution level. Uh, do I want headbutt? 70 power. Normal type, though. Yeah, alright. I'll replace water pulse. Could use a better physical water move. Flora Gato. Okay, Flora. That's, uh, that's the, that's the evolved... Weed cat. Do I have anything else for that? Should I, do I dare try the bug? It's only level 20, but uh, bug is good against grass. Yeah, go ahead, turn the tables. I do like Nimona's design. It's, uh, it's, it's memorable. She's got, like, a an, an unique hair thing going on without looking stupid. She doesn't have, like, anime hair. I mean, she kind of does, but it's not, like, it's not Yu-Gi-Oh level. It's, it's not nearly on the same level as uh, Penny or whatever that character we saw at the start of the game was. The, the crazy hair lady with the tentacles. That's Yu-Gi-Oh hair. That's anime hair. Nimona's fine. Nimo I believe Nimona's hair. Girls just got highlights. Gita. I, I don't know. Is that her name? Jita? Like, the Jita? That wasn't the nurse. That's the psychic gym leader. I kind of figured. It looks similar. 
Oh, come on, that was a flinch. Yes, she had a suit. She had black tentacles with blue highlights. Oh, that was a crit. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die to the next hit from this thing. People who can throw Pokeballs better are better at landing critical hits, too. No, that doesn't make it. No. No, the Pokemon is the one with, like, the accuracy check for the critical hits. That doesn't have anything to do with it. Nimona, don't be stupid. <sighs> My bug's gonna die. I'm gonna guess that the Terra form doesn't stick around if I swap back over to the bug. Like, once it swaps out, it's gone. I wonder if any Pokemon could be any Terra type, or if there's like a certain pool that they can be. Your skills are ripening quick! Again with that word. You sure battle like someone with more than two gym badges. That was a great battle. Fruitful for sure. She talks like Hisoka. All of a sudden, she started talking like Hisoka. Champions have to be understanding. I'll hang back and respect your time. Something, something. Ripe fruit. Yeah, hope I get stronger. Goku, Hisoka. Gokuka. Hisoku. I don't think I can combine those voices, though, so, uh, she'll probably just remain Goku. This is why I said she's Yandere Goku. I don't know if she's quite Yandere yet. She's a little over-enthusiastic, but, uh... Who is Yandere? Well, Hisoka is Yandere Goku. He's obsessed with fighting, and he is, like, vaguely sinister and threatening about it. With also a weird romantic twinge. Yeah, His Hisuka is, is Yandere Goku. I mentioned uh, Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple, or uh, History's Strongest Disciple Kenichi earlier. That had a character who was, uh... I, ca I, I called him, like, a singing... Can, uh, like a singing Kenpachi? There was a character who was like a dude in a suit with a hat. He kind of looked like Alucard, but not a vampire. And he just, he loved fighting. It was the strangest combination of character traits, but he was memorable because of it. I liked that guy. I don't remember his name, but I remember liking him. Alright. We have to do a co-stream with Iono in order to, 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 to challenge her as a gym leader. We gotta dazzle her audience and rack up those subs. Like and subscribe now for more quality streams. Hey, I, I don't know. I don't know if you want to do like a collab with me. I'll, I only get like four people watching my streams. I might tank I might tank your viewers by saying something stupid like uh like Nimona sounds like Hisoka. People people don't like it when I say stuff like that. Yep. The Iono zone. So I am aware from promotions that this is like a VTuber streamer gym leader. I, what I don't know is whether she's real or not. Like, is she purely virtual, or is she a, a, a flesh-and-blood human being? Uh, hello, hello, hola! 
Ciao and bonjourno. Already a master of Iono ease. Hope this doesn't come as too much of a surprise, but you're being broadcast live to the world right now. Anywho, thanks for coming out to LaVincia Gym to see me. Super happy you're here, but I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know? Yeah. Can't collab with you unless I know you can bring in those sweet, sweet viewer numbers. Nyo ho ho. Is 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 this is this what I gotta do to be a su successful streamer? I I gotta be like excited like this. I, I don't think I can do that. I'm too old and grumpy to be like Iono. Oh, hello, Clavel. Do you guys know each other or something? Vibrates intensify. This here dude had a real aura about him when he was walking down the street, so I snatched him up for my dealio here. Yes, you're uh, too kind. Anywho, since you're today's challenger, I'ma have you play hide-and-seek with Mr. Walks about here. Don't even get the guy's name, come on. Find him three times and you can consider this gym test passed. We need a better name for this challenge, though. I'll call it... Where in LaVincia is Mr. Walks about? He doesn't care. He's just happy to be on camera. Think that title's safe? Nothing iffy about it, right? Don't want to piss off our sponsors. She's so shook. What does that mean? Do bear with me as I try my best in my allocated role. She's just, she's gonna be on, like, the front of the screen like that the whole time. We're never gonna, like, see a physical body for her, are we? Maybe it's Penny, again. Maybe this is her side gig. She's hacked into the, into the, the Lavencia network. And has taken the identity of her, uh, of, of their, their gym leader streamer. We don't know what she does in her downtime. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Where's Waldo? I thought I would be, like, physically walking around. No, I'm using the- I'm using the security cameras. I've been hacked into the system. By, uh, Iono here. Wowza, she says. Or we move on to the next round, let's make things a little more interesting. You get to have a battle with one of my fans! Get out here, you silly pokey maniac! It's one of those fans. The Iono Hype Squad is here. Okay. Oh, he just looks like a normal dude. I was worried it was gonna be, like, some fat Hik Hikamori dude. I do get to fight her simps, but you know what? They, they could look simpier. I appreciate that they're not, like, horribly negative stereotypes. Man, my, my Olive just has, like, no good attack moves. Mega Drain's nice when it's super effective, but, uh... I could use a Ground-type here. I guess I'll try the Bug. I may have to, uh... I, have, I may have to go level up before this gym challenge. Or I might just need to change my party members. Also, Wiglet did not evolve at 24. That surprises me a little bit. When does Diglett evolve? Diglett evolves into Doug Trio starting at level 26. Not that Wiglet has anything to do with Diglett. It's a completely different, unrelated Pokemon with, I'm sure, a completely different, unique, unrelated evolution. 
no reason it would have the same level to evolve that. Yeah, level, yeah, it's level 26. Are you still here, Saucy? Haunting the rooftops? Flatter. Isn't that the pointless move that is like... Yeah, it's the it's the, the, the ver special attack version of uh, Swagger. Which is just kind of pointless because the whole point of Swagger boosting their attack stat is that it they deal more confusion damage to themselves. It's a 100 accuracy confusion move, granted, but I don't want to raise anyone's special attack. Well done, challenger friendo. Time for a change of scenery. If I had some kind of voice filter, I would use that for her, but I don't. Next stage for my totally rad test. Everybody loves it. It's the Pokemon Center. Mr. Walksabout is once again hiding in the feed somewhere. It's panic. Ah, find him quick! Do you think she would have as much of an audience if she wasn't, like, a cute girl? I don't know that she would. I imagine her sounding like Iron Mouse or Corone. Oh, that's right, there is a VTuber named Iron Mouse. Which is weird, because that's the name of a fairly popular Sailor Moon villain. I don't know why we're spending so much of this stream talking about magical girl shows. Alright, another Pokemon battle with a Pokemaniac pal. Simp number two. You look exactly the same as the last guy, but black. Dynamo. Oh, uh, e Electric. Electros, or whatever's in this game. I'll be watching Madoka with my boyfriend after we watch My Hero. Uh, are you guys are watching through... Like, you're catching up on My Hero? Now that I am out of Miraculous, I guess I'll have to resume that. I think I left- I finished Season 3 and will be starting Season 4 of My Hero. Only the first four seasons. Okay. Jack and I watched Madoka. I don't remember a ton of it. Jack liked it a lot more than I did. It was okay. I didn't- I think it's kind of overrated. Uh, Asher. Yeah, Olive. The movie was kind of crazy. Uh, the Madoka... You, wait, you watched the Madoka Magica movie before you watched the series? Oh, you, you've watched the series, but uh, Darian has not. Flaffy, uh, you know what? I th I th I'm just best powering through with my heaviest hitter. If I, I think the Marie family can have the ability Fluffy, which makes it more vulnerable to fire damage. Maybe not. I know the bear, like Beware, can have that. Maybe Marie can't. 
You know what I haven't lost you in? My devotion to Miss Iono. That's right. You, you give her those channel points. You give her all that income. Gamer girls forever or something. No stopping you, master of seeking and master of battling. You're the real deal. Time for a change of scenery. The last stage. You, we're not in France. You don't have to do that accent. Is that her thing? She just, like, does random accents. That's stupid. Who would do random accents in the middle of a stream? Oh, that's not him. Get your eyes checked, friendo. Uh... There he is. He's way down there. Admirably done. Hope you'll find your treasure in your independent study with just as much ease. That's just a vague term they keep using in this game. Just treasure. There's, the treasure is whatever you want it to be. It's the friends we made along the way. One of those friends not being Iono. Screw you, Iono. Unsubbed. When you're ready, just hit up my lobby staff. They'll get you all set up to collab with me, lickety-split. Okay. So it's looking like this will be the last thing that I... I don't think I'm going to do the water gym today. Maybe. Should I? We'll see how long this, bat this gym battle takes. Where's the Pokemon Center? There it is. I've already done most of the water gym test. I would have to go back, I would have to beat that Floatzel guy, and then I would have to beat the gym leader. Although their Pokemon were like level 28 to 30, so, uh... I might just not- I might not be strong enough to take on the gym leader. I might need to do some leveling between now and then. On stream or off stream. Again, depending on it, I haven't looked outside. It was snowing pretty heavily earlier. It might be a snow day tomorrow, and I might do this for three days in a row. I might be able to do this three, this tomorrow again. We'll see. No promises. What do you got to say? Did you watch it? She's super cute. She's the most popular streamer around, hands down. Just because she's the most popular streamer doesn't mean she's the best. You don't all have to watch Ninja and Amaranth. I'm just saying. There are others out there. Imagine Iona had a body type like Amaranth. Gee, I wonder why this is the most popular streamer. Hmm. No, she's, it's definitely, it's clearly like a VTuber thing. Which, again, I'm kind of surprised how trendy this game is. Usually Nintendo games are not this, like, up to date. Alright. Uh, challenge Iono. I guess I'll, I'll try bleeding with the bug. I don't have anything great against electric. I don't have a, a ground Pokemon. I had my Wooper. I put, I put the Wooper away. I don't got Wooper no more. Oh, she's real! She exists! And her, her teeth are real. Did she file them like that? How's that? Who's your dentist? Her eyeballs are my- okay, so those are actual Magnemites that actually float off your head. That's not like a visual effect for your virtual persona. She's an electric trainer, I guess that checks out. 
only has one weakness, which is a tad frustrating. That's also what makes uh, Electros interesting, is because it has Levitate, which makes it immune to ground-type moves. So it is one of the... It might be the only Pokémon left with no weaknesses since the Fairy-type was introduced. Although you can use something like uh, like Gravity or, uh, or, or uh, the, the Rock move. Knockdown. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best, I guess. I, I don't really care about your stupid show, Iona. Thank ye much, Electro King. Where is her abdomen? It's just, it's an extremely low-riding torso. Uh, it, it's a sweater. I guess it's, it's like a sweater. She, she, she has no use of her hands. That looks extremely, like... That looks extremely inconvenient. Someone just donated to her stream. Like, in-game? Was that a thing that popped up? Okay, flying type. Do I have anything? I have the rock I can use. I can send in Dwayne. I think I did save before this, so worst case I could uh, I could back out and open with the uh, salt mine here. Fortunately, even after all of this time, even the uh, the greatest trainers in the land, the gym leaders and the elite four, are too dumb to swap out Pokemon. So she will stick to this bird as I uh, pile rocks on it and quickly bring it to its demise. Imagine AI in a Pokemon game. Belly Bolt. What? What is? Oh, that's the that I saw that. That's the thing that people were saying was like a a, a modified version of a fake mon from the gold and silver era. I'm pretty sure it's the evolution of the electric tadpole. It's going to be an electric water type. So what do I have? I I have uh yeah. I got all of. Not even my Coridon is visible during. Why? Why is it suddenly raining? There's weather during gym battles. What a dumb-looking Pokemon! It should have stayed a fake Mon. Spark will be not very effective. Still has a chance to paralyze, though. Is it not Water type? Yeah, I may maybe I was misguided to assume. Being hit, charged with power? Huh? What is that? What does that do? Is it? Did it? Is it swole? Is it getting swollen? Charge the opposing belly bolt with power, but is it... Does hitting it with any move do that? Okay, so it only, it only increases... It has the same effect as the move charge. Anything that I hit it with will give it the charge effect for the next turn. I, is the rain random, or is it always rain during this battle? Is that, uh, that kinda... kinda sucks for me. Physical attacks make it stronger. But, but, but Mega Drain is a special attack. Weather is random. I could... Th no way Wiglet is faster than this thing. Wiglet's not fast. I could, uh, Aqu Aqua Jet will deal extra damage because of the rain, but... Okay, it is faster. Wiglet is faster than this thing. 
Maybe I can get a little bit of an edge with an accuracy lowering. No. It can sandstorm when you battle the water gym leader. I see. Oh, because it's, uh, it's near a desert. Or in a desert. I don't know where I'm going to fight the guy. I don't have a great team for this scenario. I might have I might have to do some training before this gym battle. What do I got? Uh I try to poison it. I managed to get uh, one accuracy lowering on it. Come on, get poisoned. Please? Yes! It, it's probably not gonna matter. She still has, like, three Pokemon after this one. I still have my, uh... I have my fire guy, but I don't want to... He's, like, he's fucked by the rain. By sheer random chance, my fire guy has been nerfed for this battle. That poisoning is the most that Egad's gonna, like, manage to do. So I'll just, I'll, I'll use his remaining health for healing. I felt I felt like I've been under leveled for a lot of these fights. There's also a, a pretty pretty repetitive battle theme. This particular gym gym, gym battle theme. Well, do I even want to revive my Wiggler? My Wiglet? He's just gonna he's just gonna die. Problem is that the beat is reliant on you getting their last Pokemon to beat? Like the the change in the music? Uh, do I have any Pokemon with increased priority moves? I had Wiggler, but he's not uh, Wiglet. Just uh, keep healing. I, I probably should have sent out a fast Pokemon. That's what I should have done. It seems unwise to rely on a water type in an electric gym battle, but uh, you know what? That lowered accuracy has helped me. That one mud slap that I hit. Yeah, get out of here, belly bolt. Was anyone eager to use that Pokemon? Did anyone see Belly Bolt and, and were like, Oh, that's awesome! I gotta have that on my team! Because that doesn't seem like a Pokemon that anyone would have that reaction to. Alright, powers up. That, that seems good. I'll take that. Get rid of Tackle. I don't need Tackle. I like it, but not enough to put it on my final team. Bug Bite. Bug Bite is not strong. Is it better than Pounce? 60 to 50. Yeah. Alright. Pounce lowers speed, though. Hmm. You know what? I'll get rid of Astonish. A move that is guaranteed to lower speed could 
come in handy. Luxio. Uh, Luxio is going to be faster than uh, Wiglet is. What could I do to Luxio? I guess I'll stick to I'll stick to the olive for now. It's not a Lux Ray. Also, I'm not a I'm not a physical attacker, so that's good. Is it still raining? It's not still raining. I can finally use my uh, I can use my Fire Mon again. Got my grassy terrain. Let me heal a little bit. And she 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 really be dancing throughout this entire Pokemon battle. Does this girl ever run out of energy? I'm tired just looking at her. Okay, bite does 21 damage to me. could crit. It's always possible. Twenty that time it did twenty-three damage. Pretty much every every big fight in this game has been uh been a bit of a slog. I'm not getting a lot of heavy hitters on my team. Granted, I'm not using Pokemon that are really designed for it. I'm, I'm using Pokemon that I want to get to the evolutions of, so... I'm kind of limiting myself a little bit, I'll be the first to admit. At least we get to fully appreciate every phase of this song. Is it healing too? I feel like I should have done more damage to it than that. Yeah, what? Oh. Oh, the grassy HP is... It, it's restoring its HP as well. Well, hmm. That's a problem. Why is it healing... Lo I thought it only healed grass types. Man, this, this is never going to end. It's, it's going to like, it's going to paralyze with spark, yeah. I'll do, I'll do what I can until, uh, until Olive goes down. And then I'll, I'll swap to, I'll swap to Fire Mon. Yeah, that's pr that's gonna be it. Unless it unless it deals a low damage. No, it, it dealt enough. All right. Let me just go full in with my uh, with my crocodile. Now that the rain has has gone away. All in. Heals any Pokemon that doesn't have Levitate. Yeah, that makes sense for a terrain move. Little did I know that if I wanted to uh, feel better, all I had to do was touch grass. Don't paralyze. Paralysis is so obnoxious. Okay, grass is gone. All in. Incinerate. Destroy Luxio's presence from this world. 
remove it from this mortal plane. Miss Magius. That's an interesting pick. Oh, noes! Fucking hate Iono. I will be so glad to be done with her. Please, I need to win this. I don't want to fight her again. So this is going to be her uh, her Terra Pokemon. She's going to turn it into Electric type, so Snarl is going to be pointless. Her eye is leaking. Come forth, shiny little light bulb. I had an Electric Terra type before. What was that? Probably, I had an electric type before, is what it was. Yep, it's the electric witch. Oh no! It's still Miss Magius, so it has like annoying ghost powers like Confuse Ray. Oh, fi finally, some good fucking music! Okay, that's a good chunk. I like that. Keep it up. We just need two more of those, and we're finally done with this. Hex is no longer stabbed because it's no longer ghost type, in theory. Don't hit self. Don't hit self. Don't hit self. <sighs> Crit? Is it too much to, to hope for? Yeah, it is. That's all right. One more. Please. Please do not hit yourself. Red, please. Yes! Yes! Incinerate! Destroy Iono! Like and subscribe to that! You're as flashy and bright as a 10 million volt thunderbolt, friendo. Stop calling me that. Oh, hey, we got a rock evolved. Evolves. Now, is this a three is this a three-stage evolution? It's it's even more Minecraft. Knackle stack. This Pokemon, this Pokemon dry cures its prey by pre spraying salt over them. The curing process steals away the water in the prey's body. That that's pretty fucking brutal. I like it. I'm gonna guess it's a three-stage evolution because mo most of these gens have like a three-stage rock evolution. Inflicting damage every turn. Steel and water types are more strongly affected. Why, why steel? Because rust? Oh, that was like a thing with water. Okay, so it's a 40 power physical. I guess, in the long run, I guess it would be better than Smackdown. I'm also not going to use a normal type move like ever, though. And Mudshot is special. It, you know what? It's not a special attacker. If I find a physical ground move, I can give it that. Our challenger came out victorious. I would be upset with myself if I had to fight her a second time. Hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on, anywho, my loyal fans. What does our challenger get for beating me? The lean, mean, streaming queen? God, I hate you. Yeah, give me give me the badge. Screen cap this quick! This'll be a shot you'll want to save in your brain spaces forever. No, don't pose with her. Don't encourage her, me!
by the Bizies. With three gym badges, Poke Pals of up to level 35 will be easier to catch. They'll listen to you when you ask them to do stuff, too. Now, I assume that's just traded... Is that traded Pokemon? Or do, like, Pokemon that you catch not listen to you above a certain level in this game? Go smash that subscribe button. I, I, I don't want to read any more of her dialogue. Yes, yes to what? Yes, Pokemon that you catch won't listen to you above a certain level? I remember that was, there was a mechanic sort of like that in Sword Shield, where uh, you were prevented from catching Pokemon at all above a certain level because of the wild area. Hello, tentacle head. You just defeated the gym leader, yes? Yep, that that's me. I sure, I did do that. Ah, eh, not really. I don't need to be champion. You have a rare talent. No, not really. There's lots of there's lots of uh, trainers like me. One every two or three years, I'd say. She is stylish. I'll give her that. Her hair is stupid, but her dresses her her dresses fly. It's Gita, Gita, the Gita. As you seem to be collecting gym badges. No, I'm not doing that. These adults need to mind their damn business. Oh, we, we are like a bunch of like 10 year olds being sent out into the world unsupervised. I, obviously, we're going to have interactions with all sorts of people. The world of Pokemon must be an extremely safe space. Except for those couple of Pokemon we don't talk about. Hello again. You were waiting for that. There are new classes available to take. Oh, well, what is this? Sandbag? Socks. Let's go to the sock store. It really is just the sock store. They only sell socks here. Tights. Printed types? Look at that time it takes to load. That's like uh, that's like loading the Smash Brothers JPEGs. Ooh, those are kind of nice. The shadowy. I'll spend a thousand on those. I'll get I'll get some like shadow tights. So I really have to seek out... I have to seek out every different type of clothing store in this game to get new articles of clothing. There's not like a Macy's that I can go to to buy all, all my clothing needs. I, I guess they have to fill out the, the shops somehow. Alright, well I'm going to save. I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna save. And uh, I'm going to call it for the day. And we'll see. Depending on the snow, depending on how I'm feeling, I may stream this again tomorrow or else at some point this week. Because I would like to I would like to continue this before, you know, all waiting until next weekend. That's it for today, though. It's another uh, pretty long stream. It did five hours. Six hours yesterday, five hours today. We're making progress. I will probably evolve the walk evolution Pokemon between streams. I will aim to do that. And I will uh, maybe do some leveling. I need to boost my levels a little bit before, uh, before the water gym. That much is obvious. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, Saucy and Briefly Jack. And I will see you guys next time.